Hello, Radiant Soul. Welcome. Michelle here, and I'm back with a pick a card. This time we are going to be connecting in through your own body wisdom, your somatic memory, kinesthetic memory. Your body holds ancient memories, cellular memories from many lifetimes through your ancestral lineage, genealogy, through the lives that you've lived and experienced. And if you don't believe in past lives or other dimensional living, your current lifetime, this lifetime on Earth, your body holds a lot of information. Um, there is a specific type of intuition that comes through your body. Now, your body can relay to you messages of where you've been, information that can be helpful in the present. Your body also knows when things are changing. Your body knows the future. Your body will start preparing you. And actually, the body-mind system will start preparing you through prompts to do certain things. Within your body, through the subconscious realm, there is an interconnectedness to the resonant fields, the morphogenic fields, the fields of all of life, the interconnectedness of the infinite innate intelligence of the universe. And this intelligence is in you. It is you, and it expresses experiences and communicates through your body. So we are going to get messages through this body template of yours, this vessel and instrument of the soul, to see what is coming up for you and any other pertinent messages. Maybe there's some message also that your body has been trying to prepare you for something. Maybe it's been giving you certain nudges, certain prompts, certain signals. And so in this reading, it's just going to be time to really connect in to the denser physical body as well as the subtle energy bodies that you have through the energy centers and chakras within your body-mind system. Now, there are actually 13 main chakras I'm focusing on the seven main that everyone knows about, the base or, or root into the um, seven chakra, the crown chakra. Um, but there are other cards that are representing the higher heart chakra, earth star chakra, and soul star chakra, and other combinations of chakras or energy centers that are also within the cards. I don't know where or when, I just know that I put the cards together. I don't know exactly what, which stack or soul story. So as always, ways to connect with me are in the description box. The um, soul stories, each stack is, is in the subscription box. Um, or, wow, I'm already feeling this. I've been meditating <laughs> to really connect in this reading. Anyway, timestamps are in the description box. Ways to connect with me are in the description box. Um, I'm going to do a short alignment and tune in meditation. You're welcome to join me for that or skip ahead to the timestamps. Now, let us get a closer look at the cards. So for soul story number one, we've got the base or the root chakra. And you've got a deep, deep red brown to black agate for the rooted energy here. For soul story number two, we have the sacral chakra. Okay. And you can always pause the video to get a closer look. You can zoom in. Um, I think sometimes when you get a reading, it might be nice to um, screenshot, do a nice screenshot or screen grab. Then we've got an orange agate. Soul story number three is the solar plexus chakra. And you've got this kind of orangey brown agate, banded agate. So 
soul story in number four is the heart chakra. I'm excited about this reading. And you've got two um, agates because rose pink or like rose quartz is specific to the heart chakra, but also the color green. So we have a green agate here, actually a jade green, a light jade green, and a pink kind of magenta pink, but or a light pink, kind of a hot pink. Okay, for soul story number five, you have the throat chakra, which of course, as you know, is the fifth. And then you've got this banded agate, a blue agate. Soul story number six, whoops, which is the, if I can get it up, is the third eye chakra. got this deep indigo, purpley indigo, it's kind of agate. And then we have the crown chakra. And we have a magenta agate here. All right, soul story number one, soul story number two, soul story number three, Soul story number four, soul story number five, soul story number six, soul story number seven. So base chakra, first chakra, second chakra, third chakra, fourth chakra, fifth chakra, seventh chakra, what, fifth chakra, sixth chakra, seventh chakra, okay? First chakra, second chakra, third chakra, fourth chakra, fifth chakra, sixth chakra, and seventh chakra. All right, so choose the card or crystals, the agates that connect you, and trust your own inner knowing. There may be more than one message for you in a different soul story or stack. As always, trust your intuition. Bring all readings, I would suggest, back to your own inner knowing. Be open, know that you were guided to this reading for a reason. Maybe if it was just one message or a word or two or a sentence or two, or it could be a confirmation for you as well. All right, I'm going to begin to tune in here a little more, and then we'll get into the soul story. So if you're going to stay with me for the meditation, that's great. I'm going to do a bit of a tuning and aligning further to connect in more with the collective energies. However, if you'd like to just skip ahead to the timestamp, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, let's take a pause here. Connecting in, bringing your awareness to the soles of the feet. Begin to feel that connection to the soles of the feet. And bring your awareness to the soles of the feet. And feel that connection there. Bring your awareness to the top of your head. And feel an energy there. Feel a connection there. Now in your own pace and pattern, take a deeper breath in. Pause at the top of the breath. As you breathe out, slightly draw your breath down through the center of your body, out through the chakras at the soles of your feet. There are energy centers there that begin to connect you more completely to the earth and anchoring and grounding your energy. And in the next breath, take a deeper breath in and breathe above the crown chakra to that natural pause point connecting into the higher vibrational frequency of your higher self. Pause again, take another deep breath in, connecting into the soul star chakra as you breathe out. Let your out breath be a little longer than your in breath, breathing all the way down through the soles of the feet into the earth, connecting deep into the earth star chakra. Breathing back in through the earth star chakra, connecting in to the soul star chakra. Pause. 
breathing out, bring your awareness into that heart lung area, focusing on the heart chakra. Releasing the breath, bring your awareness into that space in between your in breath and out breath and center there. breath in through the heart chakra, feeling that inner connection deep inside as you breathe out. Feel your energy radiating out into the world, into the universe. Breathing in, feeling the energy of the universe within you. Feel yourself very ready and open to receive the messages that are most resonating and life enhancing for you. And if you haven't done so already, choose the card, cards or agates that most resonate with you. Hello there, Radiant Soul. If you chose Soul Story number one, this is your reading. All right, you've got base chakra. Right away, I'm also getting with you the energy of the mystery of life within you. I feel many of you are either birthing something new or a literal birth. Um, you may not know how things are going to turn out right now, there could be some fear or uncertainty about next steps in your life, whether in a current situation or relationship. And I really do feel the birth process for you is very relevant, the birth journey, whether you are giving birth, whether you are wanting to get pregnant or you find yourself pregnant, or you're pregnant with some kind of idea. Now, for many of you, it's just starting with a feeling there's a feeling of something new, something being off or off-centered, something new coming in that is slightly throwing things off energetically because you know something's new. This is a stirring coming in your body about coming change is what I'm hearing. So there is a lot with this agate about the mystery, the void, the potential. There's a new potential coming in, or many of you could be working on something or focused on something, and you don't necessarily know where it's going to go. So there's a lot with safety, security for you, base chakra, and there could be concerns on material, material possessions, or earths, um, maybe even financial security or structure, or how am I going to do this? How is this change going to manifest? And then you've got, oh, crown chakra, the unlimited self. Okay. So these are the two areas, the two chakras or energy centers. You've got the base or the root and the crown, the unlimited self. So I'm getting a lot of you are being guided by your higher self. You're feeling this spiritual pull or call but you don't necessarily know where it's going. And, you, and also there may not be a foundation yet or enough of a foundation, but you are feeling this call. So there is an activation for the messages you're receiving, the dreams, the visions that you are receiving to manifest them into reality, to earth them, right? So a lot of you could be working on manifestation. You could be working on manifesting something new, again, a birth, Obviously, when we have a, you know, when you're pregnant, there's the birth, the manifestation. It, I mean, all along the way, the conception, the baby's body growing, and but then the, the birth of the baby is the manifestation. It's made physical now. So spirit wants you to trust this flow and process that you're in, even though you don't quite know where it's going. You don't know how it's going to take you know, how long it's going to take. This reminds me of a really good friend of mine who's a, a doula and she works with midwives and obviously do obstetricians, doctors. And by what she shares with me, it's like, you don't know exactly when the baby's going to be born. Is it a, you know, 
what is it called, VBAC? Is it a, you know, C-section? Is it medicated, unmedicated? Do you have this? Do you have that? Is it going to be at home? Do you have a midwife? You know, there's all these things. And the timing, this is important for you because in birth, the timing is determined by the baby, by that being. You have to align to that being's time or timing. So you can't push whatever it is that you're doing. You just can ground or anchor whatever you need to ground or anchor. And you really need to connect in, I feel, a lot with the subtle energy, you know, through the aura, the spirit realm. That's going to help you with any concerns. That's going to help you with any fear or or that's gonna just help you manifest or know what to do next. So for you, the body that's coming on very strongly obviously is that base or root chakra, but also the crown of imaging, um, divine downloads. Um, some of that I feel is visions or you, you have some kind of spiritual nudge or spiritual, I just heard spiritual awakening that is starting to manifest in the denser physical world or reality. So you need to start anchoring or grounding what it is that you're doing or whatever it is you're focused on or the, the ahas or insights or the spiritual energy. It has to have a, more of a physical form. Um, also to care of the body to make sure that you're anchoring. So don't forget about the body. Some of you could be very focused on the spirit realm and not as much on the um, <laughs> the earth realm, the base chakra, the root. Now, let's see what came out of her first. Oh, see, nurture. Yeah, don't forget about your body. <laughs> don't forget about your body. That's the message because a lot of you could be very spiritually focused. Maybe you're tarot readers, channelers, channelers do divination, do do a lot of. Whatever you're doing in the spirit realm, you need to also think of the earth part of you, the vessel, the vehicle, the body. And so focusing on that base or root chakra. Some of you, there could be a need to maybe stretch more or work with the spinal column, work with your back. Um, it could also be eating better. You've got the second house. Resources. Taurus. Oh, I heard it. Make your dreams a reality. Make your dreams a reality. Act upon that. So there is going to be sudden change. You've got Uranus here. There is going to be sudden change. And to prepare your body, um, I feel the higher self through your subconscious mind and, and your body wisdom. So you're, you know, body mind system is trying to prepare you for upcoming change where you're going to have to act more quickly or you're going to have more action more to do in your life so with Taurus Taurus also has to do with the body the, this direction that you're going in also you could do very well with channeling or spiritual based business now whether you are working for a company or a corporation or you're you know maybe you're not working at all or you're working you're not an entrepreneur. There either is something you can do on your own that maybe it's a side job, side gig, a project, a passion project, um, or you're starting something on the side that could do very well financially. Also, what I'm being shown and told to tell you is that if you bring more of your spirit and your spirituality into your career, your job, you're going to do better financially. You're going to do better health-wise if you listen to your body, if you listen to the intuition coming within your body. Because your higher self is giving you messages through your body that helps you ground and anchor through the changes that you're going through. There's a lot of unknown for you. Let's put that there. There's a lot of unknown. You're in the void. So self-care, you know, nurturing the body, taking care of the body, eating a certain way, stretching making to ground yourself because you could be a lot, you know, kind of more in the spirit realm, more in the etheric and astral plane. And it may be hard for you right now to be in your body. <laughs> it might be hard, yeah. It might be hard. You might be saying, oh my God, I'd rather, 
you know, I'd rather not be in my body. I'd rather be... Well, it's not that you're trying to escape. I mean, for a small portion, I carry that could be the case. It's just that you're in a highly spirit realm focus or your intuition could be getting a lot stronger or your psychic ability or maybe some of you are becoming more psychic or becoming psychic or channeling more or you're working with your guides more. There's a lot that's on the spirit realm um, that, let's take these two. And I feel like the guidance here through your body is anchor it, anchor those ideas, anchor your spiritual gifts. See, here we go. Share your spiritual gifts. Divine plan. Yeah. A lot of you are very connected spiritually. So you have to make that spiritual connection and your spiritual gifts work in the 3D world, 3D, 4D world, in the world of manifested form and your soul's purpose. Yeah, so something new is opening in your soul's purpose. You can probably feel it in your body. You could feel differently right now in your body. Healing cocoon of light. Yeah, you're going to be okay. You're getting a lot of healing through this. There's a lot, there's a lot happening for you other dimensionally. So you are in a time of increased spiritual understanding, a spiritual perspective, um, perhaps divine downloads coming through, maybe for some of you automatic writing. But the message is you've got to ground it. And you've got to also make sure that you are anchoring. You're feeling grounded or anchored. You're taking care of. Some of you, it's kind of things, you know, pay your bills, whatever. You know what I mean? What, what do you need to do? that keeps you going? What's the foundation in your, in you know, for you on the earth plane? Found it, focus on your foundation. You're creating a foundation that spirit is at the helm. You're being what I call spirit led. You're being guided. You know, you're being spirit led. You're, you're being fueled by your soul. But you also, many of those of you that want to have this spiritually based business or want to integrate more of your spirituality or share more of your soul gifts, your talent, your abilities, you can absolutely do that. However, spirits say, do not forget about the body. Take care of your body. Ground your energy. Don't stay to, you know, be in the clouds. What's that saying? You know, have dream of castles in the air, but put a foundation under it. I don't remember the saying, but you know what it is. You know, it's great to build castles in the air, but then put, make a foundation or put a foundation under it. So you're at a point right now in your life that you really need to start putting a foundation to what it is you're receiving and what you want to do. And understand that your body is a vessel, a vehicle, and it's an instrument of your soul. And what we have here seven of wands four of pentacles so this is that ability to go within and take care of the body and then we have courage or wands here seven of wands and ace of wands okay so this is going to be a really good spring summer there's something there's something a renewed passion and purpose but and a lot of you again have been feeling this within your body the message is to care for your body take care of your body and ground your visions and here we have the magician this is where you are right now so whatever you're imagining the imagination to imagine to visualize or envision it's now time to act to make it a reality and also, I, what I'm hearing is if you take care of the low back, support the low back, um, some of you kidneys, the emotional center of the body, the spine, keeping flexible, but this, things are, that's one thing with the body. The message of the body is the body is preparing you for changes, preparing you to go in a new direction, okay? Some of you are waiting. You know what I'm talking about. You know about this new direction. Now, where do you go from here? 
is the eight of wands. See, things are gonna pick up. So if you need to rest, rest. Nurture your body, take care of your body, prepare for the bigger changes. This vision that you have in your that you've been receiving and what you've been focused on or working on or creating, you've, you've had a lot of stamina, a lot of focus, a lot of focused energy, time, prioritizing. It's about to pop, it's about to happen. So your next step is to do the actions that ground your reality, that bring your vision, your dreams, your goals, the big picture, the ideas that you have, the downloads, to integrate them in your everyday life and living and to anchor them, make them real by taking action. It's time to make them real by taking action. And this is the step with judgment. So I just heard focus. Okay, and taking care of your body, grounding your vision, anchoring, doing the steps is going to move you into a space of manifesting your reality, manifesting what you want. This is all about stepping into the void. Look at that. This is the void. Look at all of these. That you are the light and you're meant to share your gifts. It's a time for you to share Share what you are receiving, and that is going to bring you that material security that you want, the security on the earth plane. Taking action. It's time to take. Um, it's a calculated risk. I don't feel a lot of risk. It's like you just need to follow through and take action on what you've been doing and what you've been building, what you've been creating. Look at this fresh start, new life. See, this could be a job offer. offer. Some of you, it's a move. There's something that you're doing that's going to affect how you live. And one of the things that your soul is helping you do now through your higher self, your higher self is helping you navigate to have a life that you feel is much more stable, is much more secure, and especially financially stable or secure. So everything that you're doing is going into some level of stability and security. Yeah, and just as I said that, abundance. But you have, you know, health is also part of wealth. So it is time for you to connect in to your body wisdom, listen to your body, your kinesthetic messaging kinesthetic meaning what you feel what you sense in the body like that sixth sense i just know this is the right time to call this is the right time to do the email this is the right time to respond this is the right time to answer back or text back or this is the right time to drive here or walk here trust your body wisdom your your higher self is navigating guiding you so much through the inner knowing through your body. Your intuition right now is coming a lot through your body. So it's about bringing this higher dimensional aspect, higher vibrational frequency in the body. Okay? It's like you're activating the body. The your body also holds the higher vibrational frequency you. You just need to connect with it. It's about connecting with this aspect of you through your body. All right, let's get a message for you from the Astro Dice. Wow, yeah, look at that. Pluto. Can you see that? Pluto. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, well, trust me, it's Pluto. In Sag in the 10th tenth house. So some of you, this is a new career direction or you're making, again, spiritual-based business, bringing your gifts into your business, looking at the higher mind, bringing that higher mind into everyday reality, not staying just in the ethers, grounding, bringing the higher reality, you know, into your physical reality. I think I just bump to the camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
Um, yeah, because I'm getting, it's interesting. You've got crown and I'm getting a lot of tingling on the top of my head. So you're moving into this viewpoint of the unlimited self. How do you manifest the divine plan, your divine plan? That's, you, that's all your focus, manifesting. Listen to your body, the intuition of your body, the body wisdom, the ancient wisdom, the galactic wisdom with Sagittarius connecting into the galactic center, the wisdom from your guides, the guardian angels, the wisdom from your spirit team, the wisdom from your starseed mentor or family. It's time. This is a soul call that you're answering to manifest the higher vision and purpose of your life. You're manifesting that into the denser physical reality. And that brings you a lot of abundance. All right, so like your soul insights mantra is I'm manifesting the higher vibrational frequency of my life into physical reality. Lots of love and a big soul hug to you. Hello, Radiant Soul. If you chose soul story number two, this is your message. You've got this amazing agate. I love this color. Kind of an orange, burnt orange. There is gifts and sides of gifts. You know, when I was tuning into, I was hearing this chant, like, hey ya ho hey ya hey ya ho so I don't know if some of you chant or sing or are very musical, but I feel like you're about to have a breakthrough. I feel like you've done a lot of healing in the sacral chakra, in the area of your sacred sexuality, um, even the kundalini energy. I feel a lot of you have had some kind of opening or you're about to, like a creative flow, like a maybe you're feeling more creative. I'm getting a lot of you are feeling more creative or wanting to create something more, wanting to create something. Some of you, it's a legacy. It's something that you're going to leave behind. Now, I am seeing that there's a long lineage of creators uh, being very creative or having artists in your family. Some of you have said, well, I'm not really the artist or I don't, I don't consider myself an artist, but you are, you are. You're getting a lot of healing in the sacral chakra area in the sacral, right? Um, this second chakra for you has a lot to do with reproducing yourself. The second chakra is reproducing oneself. And so it can be birth, similar to the first chakra. But with the first chakra, it's manifesting it. Yes, yeah, sacral chakra, you may or may not manifest something or make it physical. Maybe it's living more open, feeling more connected to everything in your life, you know, the, the nature. Um, it could also be just drawing, painting, creating, singing, toning, just for yourself, just tapping into the joy of be, even being in nature. Um, it can be this drive to want to self-express, to express on a soul level, to create. Some of you, this could be changes creatively in how you dress, how you look, your hair, your makeup. You know, I don't know, you wear a hat or a scarf or a beanie or something. You know what I mean? There, there's this part of you that wants to express your soul more in your life on a very personal level. So let's see what else is going on here. So we've got the sacral chakra. And you've got da, 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 the base chakra also. Now soul story number one also had the base chakra, root chakra. So your two areas right, oh, and you've got sacral chakra again. Okay, some of you are wanting also a very sacred relationship. That's coming through the body or being prepared for that high heart chakra. So your message is to lighten up, to play more, to have more joy and enjoyment in your life. And some of you, this could be a sacred sexual union. This could be just more connection with people, um, more intimacy. This could be more... Um, intimacy or sacred sexual connection with a partner or you're drawing in a partner. Some of you, this is also very much about 
creating and collaborating. This is the message very much for you is tapping into the infinite innate intelligence, the creative intelligence, infinite innate creative intelligence of the universe. This is very much about creating and making those creations very real, manifesting them, putting them to use. Um, this isn't, for some, this is just living more creatively, playing, having more fun, more joy in your life, more intimate connection, not necessarily sex, it can be, but just opening up intimately, revealing yourself more. Your body is craving to reveal itself more, to live more creatively, to live more open, openly. So there is this amazing opening that's coming for you, or you are in right now. This opening frees you up. Your creativity connects you to that infinite, innate creative intelligence. And, you know, we call it, we had on my podcast a while back, uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton, and he talked about imaginal cells, that we have these imaginal cells within us, and it's a real deal thing. Some of you may already know this, but, and, and they imagine the next level, the next step, the next, you know, like from crawling to walking, you know, it, it's like key codes. We get de decoded at the right time, but we are the imaginal cells on the earth, in the universe. And that's true. Metaphysically, we are reflecting consciousness. And we're so far the only species that does that, just on this dimension, this level. So, you're to imagine something and bring it into the world. You, you're to connect into the I am this creator. Some of you already know this and it's a confirmation that the creations that you're doing and putting in the world are helping the world. You are here to help the world. Some of you are helping others manifest their vision or bring their vision to light. So there's a lot for you with creativity and self-expression and helping others be more creative and more in their self-expressive flow. Some of you are teachers, you're guides, some of you mystics, some of you alchemists, there's a real alchem alchemical energy. Some of you are, pro you know, regular, like, are in education somehow, consulting, education, teaching, teaching children, homeschooling. Um, so you're meant to move more into creativity. And Spirit is saying, not to worry so much about your security on the earth plane because you're tapping in to an infinite abundance when you are tapping more into that infinite innate creative intelligence you're tapping into that abundance look at that divine channel wow when you create you're this divine channel some of you are assisting others in this either to, to open up to their own gifts or you're using your gifts to help people open up to their own creativity, self-expression, soul expressions, soul experience, divine expression, divine experience. You can, you can really open doors for people. But Spirit wants you to go also in your own, do more for yourself creatively. Wow. Okay, this is second chakra. You are worthy. So some of you have been wor working on worth right under the second chakra. There it is. You're worthy. You're worthy of your gifts. You're worthy of the money. You're worthy of people's time. You're moving more into synergy. Let's just get the cards out. Thank you, lucky stars. And we've got bumpy ride. Yeah, some of you are, there's concern about 3D things, finance, money, um, how long am I going to live here? Am I going to stay here? What's going on? But through these concerns, what I'm hearing is if you focus more on your creative energy, you, your creative energy or your creativity or artistic ability or your ability, you have a way of creating either other streams of income or just looking at things more creatively instead of looking at things as a problem say what is the creative solution here let me find the solution not to focus more on the problem spirit wants you to focus less on the problems and more in the solutions 
what is the creative solution? Some of you are very good about that. If you if you need more income, more money, if you whatever it is that you need, you are able to get it. And so you have to remember that. Wow, look at this. Visualization and inner guidance. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Visualization. So what you've been visualizing to some degree is starting to manifest and they're getting the message to trust your inner guidance. So some of your, your inner guidance is coming through your body, like if you feel something is a little off, it's saying to pause, to wait. We've got the high, the sacral chakra. We've got the sacral chakra twice there. I just heard your health. Heart, there's a healing in the heart. You're being, getting a heart healing because you're starting to trust spirit more. You're, something is shifting in you where some of you, I even feel like there could have been anxiety reaction, right? Anxiety experiences, panic attacks. You're starting to trust. You're starting to connect in. The healing of the sec sacral chakra, the second chakra, is allowing you to feel guided, to feel your guidance from your higher self. And I'm also getting that you're starting to connect into love yourself more. This is a lot about self-love and self-acceptance and that's allowing you I feel to be open for some of you to open to a relationship. It's been a while. This is about opening up to a relationship also. Okay, you've got North Node. Look at that. The future. I just heard the future looks bright. Then you've got Leo. Shine. Those of you that are wanting, see your body is preparing you for something, either a birth, getting pregnant, a birth, or the birth of you, where you are more confident in the world, and you're going to feel this confident in your body. You're being prepared for a much more confident uh, future. Yeah, so you had to go through, you've been going through a lot with the Saturn, because it's all about the new structure for your future. And so that healing that that's happened in the second chakra, in other words, you're gonna know, okay, I can get through anything. I can make this happen, or I can have the resources to make this happen, or the support. The universe supports me. That's your message, the universe supports you. But this new life is, you're going to have, look at that progression, the journey. This new life that's coming up for you and the decisions that you're making are going to give you a better foundation, base chakra. This is all about your foundation. Everything that's been happening to you has been happening for you to have a better foundation to journey, to go forward on. So you outgrew your own, your foundation, your old foundation. Whatever you were doing, you outgrew it. And I feel like there's been some tightness, maybe in the stomach area, there's been some tightness with like, okay, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move on from this. I folk, I've done this long enough. I want to move on. So I do feel movement with you. I feel like, let's see what cards you're getting in. Nine of Pentacles, look at that. The money's there, and the way for you to earn the money or the opportunities f for you to have the money that you want to be able to do what it is you want to do or the resources. It's not just money. It's also what I'm hearing is resources. Is this people to help you? That is going to be there. Now, I do feel some of you feel very solo with that Leo energy, Nine of Pentacles, Sometimes it's hard to get going. I get it. It's hard to kind of, you're having to recreate yourself. You're having to create something in your life that reflects you and that also keeps you going. Maybe it's more stable income. Five of wands. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what else is coming up. Eight of swords.
I heard don't get stuck or mired down in the problems. Look at what you do have. Look at the creativity, the creative solutions. Some of you, what you need to do to get out of moods or whatever's going on, despondency or not feeling good enough, is you need to connect into your intuition and to do something with this energy. Sacral. You need to create. So what's going to get you or help you out of your moods or whatever you're going through is focusing, Leah, just as I said that, that helps you recoup, is focusing on your creativity or productivity. Focus on the solutions. That moves the energy through. If you can't figure it out right now or you don't know what to do, the message is to create. Focus on creativity. Focus on productivity. Focus on doing what you can do. Focus on sharing um, more. And focus on what is working. Your body wants to feel satisfied. Your body wants to feel acknowledged. Your body wants to feel satisfied. It wants to say, oh, you did a good job. We did this. Look what we did. So I'm getting a lot to do with bringing into your foundation now not just stamina and creating structure, but bringing in what is the self-talk? What am I saying to myself? Am I validating my body? Am I helping my body along, hermit? And nine of cups. So a lot of what you're doing, you're having to do on your own. This is your path at this time. It's very much about you. Um, and that could be a little bit, you know, jarring. Um, your body does very well by connecting into the feeling of feeling supported, validated, acknowledged. That look what you did. We've got Virgo energy here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I know it's hard, and I know you've been doing a lot on your own. Keep the focus, but bring in the joy. So that's a second message about that, about the joy. So a lot of you have been doing a lot on your own or for yourself. Either you're on your own or you do a lot on your own or you have maybe your own business or focus or there's this feeling of wanting support. But you've, you've learned something about resilience. This has been a lesson in resilience for a lot of you. Being able to bounce back or keep going. Persistent effort, resilience. Five of Wands, persistent effort, perseverance. Do not doubt yourself. Please, the soul group, for this soul story, the messages do not doubt yourself. Now this keeps wanting to come out. So I'm going to share something about this, is whatever your plans are, it's not yet to tell people or tell everyone. Be very oh, cautious of who, who you are telling what you're doing, okay? Yeah, because some of you this has to do. Yeah, your body is preparing you for changes that are coming. This could be a bigger project, this could be a bigger job, a new position, this could be a new relationship coming in with that King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But some of you have been on your own a lot, you've been in decision. Some of you I'm getting, oh, should I date? Should I go on an app? Should I put myself out there more? But no, you've been working on an inner structure, whether you're talking about a situation, a job, a career, Anything, any goal that you're working on in your life or a relate or drawing in a relationship, you have been working on an inner structure, a lot of healing with the first and second chakra, the base chakra, the root and sacral chakra. And that is healing you for this new person that is coming in. Those of you that are looking at relationship. Anything else, you still have been working on this inner structure and it's paying off. 
So your body is healing from something. Could be trauma, wounds, relationship wounds. It is healing um, so that you can attract more abundance and more f um, a life, work, relationship so that you can receive more. A life or relationship that is more about um, receiving, opening to receive, receive the love. Wasn't there something? High heart chakra. Yeah, you're bumping everything up vibrationally. You've been, you've been in a major healing phase. We've got healing there. You've been healing the root, the root chakra. Okay, and um, the sacral chakra. So this is a lot about your worth, your deservability, you feeling worthy, you feeling good, no matter what you look like, what your body looks like or feels like, what you've gone through. A lot of healing on that um, to bring in a next level of experience. Some of you, this is a relationship. Now, this could be a soulmate type relationship that is business, collaborative, creative, um, all of the above and or personal, a significant other the person to travel with. Some of you have been doing this healing with a partner. You've been consciously healing. Each of you have been consciously healing relationship to draw in, you know, I just heard more intimacy, more, more love, a feeling of more love. So some of you have been doing some healing as a couple. Some of you are doing this healing solo. A lot of you, it's solo, so that you draw in this relationship. It's a better aligned relationship for you. Spirit is saying, do not look back. It's the time to move forward and look forward. You've been having, you've been looking back a lot. Look at that relationship. There we go. Business partner. Yeah. So that sacral chakra healing that you've been going through is so that you get better relationships, whether business, coworker, significant other community this is all about healing relationship someone's showed you misinformation that you weren't worthy or good enough or they didn't give you enough and you just took kind of breadcrumbing that's changing all right let's get a message for soul story number two in this amazing healing i feel such a tender energy with you Oh my God, it is relationship. Your body's preparing you for relationship. You've got Jupiter here. I hope you see it. Oh, the lighting is different now. Let's see. There we go. Jupiter. Can you see that? Jupiter. Look at this. In Pisces. It's a spiritual relationship. Spiritual. This is about soulmates. Your seventh house. So whether you are attracting clients, customers... Uh, business partnerships, collaborative partnerships, even professional, like it doesn't matter whether it's your a lawyer, a tax accountant, a teacher, a therapist, a mentor, a guide, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a spouse, a coll creative collaborator, um, you are attracting more higher vibrational soulmate relationships allow yourself to get used to receiving an opening to this in to me you see your body is preparing you for this birth you're birthing you're flowering okay because you're very connected to your own inner joy what makes you happy what makes what keeps you joyful what keeps you aligned to your own heart and feeling love more love for yourself and love for humanity, for the world, for the earth, for nature. That you know the um, soul group, soul tribe. You know this love is starting to manifest in your career, your job, with friends. With for some of you, with family, there could be a healing taking place. Some of you, it's a family of your choosing. And for some of you, it is a very special soulmate relationship that's coming in. So your body is preparing you. Do what you can. Look up sacral chakra and base chakra. Look, 
sacral chakra, high heart chakra, that's the universal heart. So you, your relationships have healed enough that you're not just focusing on personal love or you can do your own self-healing. You're not looking for that validation to heal the inner child stuff. Um, either you're not doing that now or you're not going to be doing that. You've done a lot of healing on inner child, um, on being yourself in the world, or you're in that, you're doing that now or soon to be. That's the message because it's bringing in more spiritual connected, spiritually connected, spiritually aware relationships. There's a blossoming there. It's a gift. Thank your lucky stars that some of the previous relationships didn't work out, whether creative, collaborative, friend, or of a more personal, intimate nature, like a significant other. They didn't work out because there is somebody very special that's coming in for you. I love this reading. Wow, beautiful. Ooh, wow, 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 yeah. High heart chakra. This is like a, yeah, major divine love. It's not, yeah, it's beautiful. All right, Soul Light, um, your Soul Insights mantra to support you on your path is I am divine love. I experience and express divine love. And I receive divine love in all my situations and circumstances. Yeah. Divine love in different forms. Love takes many forms. All right, Radiant Soul Light, lots of love and light. Hello there, Radiant Soul. If you chose Soul Story number three, this is your reading. You chose the Solar Plexus Chakra. Wow, okay, this is your gut knowing. Solar plexus chakra is the area of the inner child. It's your intuitive awareness through the body. It's your gut knowing, literally your gut. So solar plexus, you've got the immune system within the stomach. This is also the area of your inner child. So the more the inner child is healed, um, the more that, that ener this energy center opens. The solar plexus is also your identity on earth, how you're experiencing and expressing as the divine being or God consciousness or God through you as you. It anchors you into the earth plane. This is why you have the umbilical cord that goes symbolically to the mother and physically to the mother, but it goes into the mother consciousness, into the earth consciousness, how you are fed, how are you feeding yourself? your own inner child, how are you feeding your intuition? Are you nurturing and caring for your inner child, your inner knowing, your gut knowing through your body? Now, it's interesting, the body has, th all information comes through the body in various ways. This is like the skin, right, is the largest organ. But solar plexus, you've got the solar plexus or the gut, um, and I include, obviously, the gut intestinal area. That's also the area that the main part of our immune system is there. But we've got our gut, we've got our heart, and we've got our brain. Those organs, we process a lot of information. So I'm getting you processing a lot. And you've got this banded agate here, this brown banded agate. So you're grounding. And then you've got the crown chakra. I just heard messages from above. Light from above. Okay, those of you of a certain time and age, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Messages from above, crown from above. And what have we got? Oh, third eye chakra. Pineal perspective. Yeah, you're really... The, your energy centers are trying to tell you to pay attention more, to listen to the messages that you're getting, the visions that you're getting, the dreams, um, the goals that you're setting. Are they really in alignment? Are they supporting you? Is your, In other words, is your gut knowing? Because you're getting impressions. You're getting guidance. A lot of you could be getting synchronicities. A lot of you have visions. You have a focus that you want. Um, 
Spirit is saying, make sure you're not staying just in the mental realm, the lower mental realm. Bump up into the higher mental realm, which is the pineal perspective, the pineal gland, the third eye chakra. Some of you are trying to will things or make things happen through your mind. and the, But it's the lower mind. It could be from worry. It could be from forcing things. So if you're feeling any tightness in the solar plexus chakra or any kind of funniness or off there's messages there's a lot of communication coming through look at this a third eye chakra the sixth chakra so there is six seven there is going to be some kind of breakthrough for you intuitively or feeling better in your gut some of you there could be stomach issues um, or something's making you nauseous now if something's you know, obviously, if it's something medical and you feel it's that, go to your healthcare practitioner, etc. However, some of you, there's some things that don't quite feel right, and you need to listen more to that. What doesn't quite feel right to you? So your body is really talking. I mean, I hear hiccups. I hear nausea. I hear, like, gurgling, like digestion gurgling. Some of you, there's bloating. But there's a lot of messages that are coming through um, your chakras, your third eye chakra. There's, I feel like your higher self is also trying to clear the third eye chakra so you're getting more input from the crown chakra. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the solar plexus. So really your intuition, your gut knowing. Some of you may say, look, I really trust my gut on this. Or you need to more. What is this? Financial freedom. Yes. For, woo, freedom of soul expression. Okay, what's going to help you is spiritual practice. Meditation, yoga. What is your spiritual practice? You need to connect to a spiritual practice that aligns this third chakra, seventh chakra, and sixth chakra, right? You need alignment work. Some of you, it could even be, um, I feel it's more energetic, I suppose. Things like massage or acupuncture or chiropractic or, you know, somatic, any kind of somatic work. Um, yoga, I feel like, yeah, movement can help you with this, but it it's if you're consciously understanding that there, there needs to be this alignment and this solar plexus is really checking things. It's like your checks and balances. You need checks and balances to trust your gut knowing. Trust what you're picking up, what you're perceiving. Got a lot of cards here. Guiding light. Yeah, see, the guiding light is within you. Your darkest hour, you find the light shines through, because you, but you have to listen to your gut knowing. There's a lot of body wisdom that you have within you. And a lot of it's in the gut. It's like, how do you feel? Does it feel tense or tight? That means wait, something's off, pause, or it could be a no, or it could be a not right now. So this phase for you, and some of you, I, I might be reading this and you're like, oh my God, this is me already. She's just describing me. And so some of you may, may be already very, very in tune with your body. Uh, oh, share your gifts. Now that's interesting. I think Soul Story number two had that. So. I kind of felt like, I mean, I was a little spacey when I was starting the reading, you know, the intro, because there's just overwhelming energy right now in this reading, and I kind of knew there would be, but I'm doing it during Mercury retrograde in Aries, and then we have the solar eclipse um, in Aries, you know, new moon in Aries, solar eclipse, freedom of soul expression. So I kind of knew, I've been trying to do this reading for months had all the cards in stacks and I restacked them but I feel for you I mean it's the perfect time that I'm doing this reading because this is all about your body and next level some of you might be doing something integrating your body in the work that you do reaching out Financial freedom, yeah. You don't want that constriction. So some of you, 
you got to trust your gut knowing, even on business decisions. So it's great to extend out through the crown chakra and to, and to feel your expansiveness and to vision or visualize. But now you got to see, is this does this feel right in the gut? Is this the right time? Is this the right thing? Is this the right person? Is this the right situation? Is this the right job? If you bring it back to your gut, you cannot go wrong. Your, your gut knowing is like on fire in fuego, okay? It's like your gut knowing is like, listen, bring it to the gut. Because the gut is going to connect you more to the earth, what's working. And it's also going to connect you to timing is what I'm hearing. Like it's going to connect you to, is this the right time or timing for me? You're going to know it in your gut. I just keep hearing that over and over. I just knew it. I knew it in my gut. I knew that this is the right thing. If you don't bring it to your gut, your timing is going to be off. So it has something to do with your body. I feel like your body for you is like a pendulum or a Geiger counter, sonar. I feel your body just kind of knows. It's like when you're, you know, when you're going to go for a jog or run, you know when to pick up, you get a flow. So you're jogging and then all of a sudden you're going faster and a little bit faster and the flow is picking up. That's what I feel with you. If you trust your body, you'll know when the flow is picking up and what to do. So you can't know that in the head and also it has to be brought in the body. So the message for you is to really understand that your body is an instrument of the soul. It's an instrument. What, you know, is it guitar? Is it drums? Whatever. You have to bring it into the body. Some of you, it's warming up the body before you, whatever you do. I'm just hearing warm up the body. You speak through the body. Some of you, it's dance. It's movement. It's knowing when to move and what to do by what you are feeling in your body. The messages. It's not just feeling. I mean, that's part of it. But, okay, these cards fell on the ground, but I'm going to take them. Those are the ones that came out. Let's see what this means. Sun, yeah. Solar plexus. The sun. Third house. Wow, we got a lot of opposition. Put these over here. Ninth house exploration. Okay. Tenth house authority. Some of you are learning through the body when to say something, when not to say something, when you feel opposition within you, which might mean spiritual practice. You need to meditate. Do you need to journal? Do you need to do a contemplation meditation? By the way, I have free meditations you can download on my website, soulplayground.life, or on this channel, actually, because this channel, for anyway, I won't go into that, but anyway, I didn't really, wasn't doing readings, but I was just uploading stuff for when I was teaching uh, a lot of classes and courses, and I taught meditation and, um, and workshops in at Agape Spiritual Center. So those are on this channel. There's amazing alignment meditation and also a, I think it's an ascension attunement that helps you move out of opposition. It's great for shadow work and it, it energetically moves you out of the shadow, integrates. It moves you out of any oppositional you know, extremes of the polarity within yourself and in your life. So yeah, you're meant to... Act on when you feel it's right in the gut. Third house, yeah, communicating, getting to your um, truth in how you're communicating. Some of you, there's a little bit of opposition about when to do something or to become more public or get out there more. I, I'm definitely getting a lot with this group with publishing, social media, being on maybe different platforms, maybe sharing your gifts more through different platforms that you have sharing your gifts. Yeah, you're going to monetize something. There's something that you're starting to do where you're going to take center stage. So you may have to work with that inner child to like make that part of you feel safer and, and to move more into the spirit of play, the consciousness of play. Um, so that you're not overly taking yourself seriously, too seriously, and stressing yourself out. 
Some of you that could be ulcers coming in or just weird stomach things because you're meant to take the be light with what you know, the spiritual truths or whatever it is that you know or whatever it is that you're doing, that you're definitely meant to move more into a leadership position, speaking, talking, sharing, team building. This is all about you taking center stage and really up leveling financially. And so part of the preparation for you is going to be the alignment of this third chakra, right? The solar plexus chakra, gut knowing, with your vision and the crown. So you're getting these messages through the crown or you're checking it or you're getting these inspiration and you're visioning, you're using your spiritual energy um, some of you are working with guides, you're opening up and you're getting great information, but you have to trust your body wisdom. Is this about time? I feel timing. Is this right? Do it this way. And also not to hold yourself back, to move into this position of sharing. Um, a lot to do with social media or online or the internet some of you, it's actually even doing something like a mashup with um, AI or some type of technology. And I'm going to put this here. So freedom of soul expression brings you financial freedom. I think you have to reach out. You have to ask for help. Or it's time for you to get more support or be more supportive or be more supportive of yourself by not being stuck in perfectionism. This, you're trying to do everything either all at once or be so perfect at it. And it's perfect. You are perfect as a divine being and things perfect over time. Okay, metaphysically we call it perfected form. You are perfected form, meaning the form that you are, everything, the packaging, everything you do is perfect. But we get better and better. You know, hopefully I'm getting better and better doing my readings here and my lighting and all that and sound and everything and knowing what to do. But, you know, but I come here with the spirit of play through the play of consciousness. And so you need to move into that space. And as you're creating more in alignment with that play of consciousness, play, you know, that's what you are, consciousness made manifest. And as you're playing with consciousness, conscious reality, and taking that conscious reality and manifesting it, make, you know, consciousness made manifest, which is what you are, whatever you're creating in your life. But if you do it in the way that you're engaging that inner child, your gut knowing, you're not over pushing, you're really trusting yourself on the timing then you're going to do really, really well. Whatever it is that you're focused on, you're going to do really, really well. If you don't take that part of you into consideration, not so much. Okay, so that is the message. It's not a light message. It's a light message. It's a playful with the sun. It's about play. It's about creativity. It's about just lightening up. Whatever you're doing, even if you're dating, even if you're going out, just be. let it be lighter. Let, don't, it doesn't have to be an interview. Is this going to be the one? Is this the husband is this the wife is this the spouse is this my person is this the job it, it's you know you might have more than one job more than one career you might take a job transitionally and then end up moving to something else so really let up on yourself at this time really just let up on yourself and let yourself move forward ace of swords let yourself play with ideas Six of Pentacles. Hermit keeps coming out, which I feel like the Hermit, here it is here, it, in, in this reading has to do with your inner wisdom, the wisdom from the body, the ancient wisdom that is in your body, the cellular memory, the somatic memory and life experience or life experience over lifetimes. It's time for you to see your body and not just as an asset, it's like a partner with you. It's a partner in this co-creation. A lot of wisdom that you're picking up through the body. Now, some of you could be doing something with health or fitness or healing. Maybe you are doing something with somatic healing or somatic psychology or um, you might have an idea to go in a new direction. Just bring it back to the body, bring it back in. 
Okay, then we've got Nine of Cups. And we move into Eight of Cups, which, uh, excuse me, Eight of Pentacles. Now, which is interesting, Virgo energy there. That um, has a lot to do um, and traditionally, in traditional tarot, it's prudence, it's care of the body, it's caution, reserve, it's prudence, it's it's not jumping in or out of something. Okay, so there is a you're going from the six of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. So a lot of you are mastering more of the idea of reciprocity or give and take or receive, not just with people but with the universe or how your life flows. So there's a different life flow coming in for you, a different direction. This is giving you some new ideas. Again, new ideas, third eye chakra, new ideas coming in, but you need to bring it back to the body. With those pentacles here, it's some of you, okay, check in with your body. Are you tired? Have you stretched yourself too much? Are you exhausted? Do you need to eat? Really take your body into account because I feel like a lot of you could be push, 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 trying to make things happen, or you are making things happen, and it's happening, it's moving forward. Um, your body has a lot of knowledge about where you're going and what helps you. And so as you're listening more to the body, you're understanding time for, you know, to work on something, time to work on something else time to have it's there's something about balance here for you let your mind explore new ideas because you're going to be inspired you're going to be receiving some new ideas but check it back in with that third chakra that solar plexus chakra you know solar plexus is it's obviously a place of intuition got knowing the inner child but it's also the hada center the Hada Center is our empowerment center. We have a lot of power in that whole solar plexus region. It's the power power center. And it's also the, represents that deep chi where we're, we gain insight, information, vitality. You know, it's stored there, right? Uh, well, like a little well. You know, the, the, there's a, you know, a deep well there. So a lot of you are taking time to fill that well of knowledge, fill that well of energy, of inspiration. You're filling something up to be able to release it, to share it, to publish it. Some of you, it's travel. So you're filling this well of where you're going in your destiny, this next level in your current situation, your job, your career, your life. A lot of you, it, this has to do with it's time to be more me, express more of me in the world. What is it that you're choosing to do? You're focused on taking better care of yourself. You're focused on freeing up so you can do, have, you have the money, the funds to do more of what it is that you want to do. So freedom is big for you. And your inner child in that solar plexus likes freedom. Your inner child wants more freedom. Freedom to do more of it is what you want to do. Detach, yeah. This is detaching what no longer works for you, okay? And preconceived ideas or notions. And how can you detach more easily is by connecting in to your solar plexus, the third chakra. This one came out. Look at that choice. Listen to your intuition. You're going to have to make a choice, and the only way that you're going to know what to do is by your intuition, your gut knowing. Is it A? Is it B? Is it this person, that person? Is this time? Is this it? No. You're going to know by the quiet calm in your gut, in your gut knowing. And some of you, this is reaching out to someone or someone's reaching out to you with some kind of offer. I would offer for your services. And you're going to know, is this the right time? Or do I push it off? Um, I'm also hearing to, to tell you is that trust your intuition because there could be a smaller opportunity that comes through for you. 
Um, and you may or may not take it. If you don't take it, there is something else that comes back around for you, okay? So there's going to be many more opportunities. And yeah, see, leaving suddenly. I not, this is what's, I feel like trusting your gut is like, for some of you, it's whether to leave a certain job or career or a certain way of working, certain lifestyle change. It could be a move, a long distance move or moving someplace else. And you're going to know, yeah, I'm going to do it. Am I, I'm getting the message. Yeah, roll the dice. This is perfect for you. Trust your gut. It's time to put yourself out there. You're, some of you are hiding your talents, but it's time to reach out into the world. Put yourself out there. Be in the spotlight. This is the sun card. It's time to be in the spotlight. Roll the dice on yourself. But you're going to do it. I do. I, you know, some of you may be, you know, hesitating, wavering. Um, because you get in your head a bit, but I do feel this new idea, this new direction, this offer, once you bring it into your gut, you're like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Some of you, because you have money saved, this opportunity is going to bring you more abundance. Some of you could even be an investment. Most of you, I feel like it's some kind of, could be investing in yourself, but whatever it is, it pays off. It brings more work. There is a payoff for you, a very positive result in a payoff. It brings more work, but it also brings the financial freedom that you want, the ability to buy more of what it is you need and want, to make the changes you need and want, to move in the direction you need and want, whether in your career, how you want to look at life, your destiny, the job, or for some of you, the, the move that you're wanting to do. And there's a, the huge lifestyle change, living differently. It's, it's gonna get, your body is needing and wanting more freedom and you're getting the messages of how to align to this freedom. All right, let's, let's get one more message through the Astrodite. Ooh, Libra. Okay. Mars. Mars in Libra. In the sixth house. Delegate, Mars and Libra, delegate. Did you get balance here? I thought I saw something with balance. But maybe I was just picking that up psychically. But this tells me too, Mars and Libra, this is this is beneficial relationships that are gonna help you, supportive relationships. It's again, this is about reciprocity, give and take. Mars and Libra, six of pentacles. Be, don't be surprised if someone doesn't come in and help you or offer to help you or offer to collaborate with you or to work out some agreement with you that's much more supportive. Some of you are asking for this in a job kind of situation or it could be around the house. Hey, I want more help. Or someone is stepping up. Be open to it. You'll know what to do by trusting your gut knowing. All right, so like your uh, Soul Insights mantra is, I know what to do by trusting my gut knowing. I know what to do by trusting my intuition and checking it with my gut knowing. Yeah, um, follow through on that hunch, follow through on that great idea. Whatever it is, it, it, it totally up levels you and puts you in a, a new track or trajectory yep the time is now roll the dice believe in you oh, you do a lot of you do yeah there's a lucky break there's a break there's something that you're going to take a chance on whether it's speculative investment of some type but you're taking that in, that chance and it really up levels um, how you live it's going to bring more work though I want to tell you six house your routine, your, it's gonna bring more work, but it's going to be worth it. So you're gonna detach from what doesn't support your bigger vision. And that's what your gut is trying to tell you. Anything that doesn't support your bigger vision is draining your energy, time to move on from that. All right, so light, lots of love and light. Hello there, radiant soul. Great to connect with you, um, boy. What's happening with you? You've got the heart chakra, Ooh, which I just heard a lot with green. I don't, I feel heart energy, but I feel like 
kind of feeling a lot more self-love, self-care. I feel something is very delicate in your life right now. Maybe you're delicate with you. There's a new level of vulnerability, of opening. And I look at his vulnerability as very positive, that we don't have too many defenses up. And then you've got the jade here, the green for the heart. So we've got that rose pink here, healing the heart chakra. It's been a lot of focus on self-love and health and healing, doing what's better for you, what's better for your body. And your body thanks you. Your body is feeling very receptive to you. There's a wonderful meeting of the mind, the body-mind system within you. There's a wonderful meeting of the energy of you, the energy and motion of you. And your body thanks you for turning something around, for the stewardship that you're doing. Um, I really feel like there's this amazing heart connection that you're starting to have with your body, or maybe you do already. Okay, oh, you've got two heart chakras. Look at that. You've got the heart here in this deck. And then you've got the heart chakra in this deck. And you've got the throat chakra. So listening to your body is what helps your body. And what helps you feel loved through your body or as your body is listening to your body, is listening to yourself for what it is you need to do or want to do or what your body is needing. So some of you are needing to listen more and some of you have started listening more. And ether, the seamless, unspeakable. Wow, you got the ether. This is through the subtle energy. This is the morphogenic or resonant fields. This is connecting in through the interconnectedness of everything and everyone. So I also feel with you, I'm getting divine mystic. I'm getting the poet. I'm getting the writer here. That a lot can be expressed for you by journal writing, by tuning in to the ethers of the world, the subtle energy of the universe, of the world, and feeling that connection, that heart connection. So heart is, is really emphasized for you. So heart health, focusing on health. Um, I just heard cardiac, so I don't know what that has to do. Well, heart. Um, hold on, let me, I'm getting a message. You're transformed through listening to your body, listening to your higher self through your body. I, I feel like this is everything from food to schedule to timing to people. You're really opening up to listen. Now, if you haven't been doing that, the message from your body is, I love you. So this is you to you through your body. I love you. There's a new love and appreciation for your body and what it can do and what it's come through. So positive talk to your body, feeling your body, loving your body, positive affirmations, positive self-talk, letting your body process if it's angry or has, you know, to process frustration or anger, let your body feel, listen to your body, let your body communicate to you what it's feeling and let it fully cycle through, let it fully process and you will feel so much better, so much love. And for some of you, you're already doing that and your body thanks you. Your body is feeling the attention and the love. Wow. So you're having some kind of alignment also into humanity that you're feeling much more connected, maybe much more love of humanity. Oh, look at that at the bottom. This is too perfect. Inner dialogue. Yeah, it's time for the inner dialogue of love, of the positive, loving affirmations. clarity in a certain situation. Now I'm going to just put these out and see what we're getting. Oh, wow, I see what's happening. Oh, your body's really speaking to me. I am listening. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, one more. There we go. Empathic overload. Okay. Yeah, so 
your body is saying, look, you got to cleanse or clear. Sometimes we get overloaded. Sometimes your body gets overloaded by people's, other people's energy. And you're moving into a space or your body wants you to move into a space of more conscious living. Let go of false assumptions or ideas about how much sleep you need, when you need to sleep, when you need to wake up, you need this kind of schedule, you need to do this, you, you need to eat this. The call for you through your body is to listen to more of the messages of your body, of what it's needing, even though maybe it's not the latest, maybe it's not trending, but it's what you need. So this is about listening to your body and dialoguing with your body, even asking your body, what do we need today? Or what kind of schedule can we have? Or what should we eat? And check in with your body. Some of you may even want to get a pendulum. You know, I did a video on pendulums. I think it's in Tarot Talk. Um, if you don't know about that, you can look at that video. But I really feel for you, you this is about being more conscious in your thoughts with that throat chakra, listening to your higher self with your inner dialogue and also recognizing that you are part of the whole, part of humanity. The energetics of you is interconnected through the subtle energy to everything and everyone. So you're picking up things. Some of you have been picking up fear or doubt or confusion or uncertainty that isn't yours or you have a little bit of it but it's being amplified by what you're ingesting by what you're watching what by what you're listening to um, some of you need to watch you know like balance out or curb certain foods or certain things that you're doing um, because it's not good for your body this is the self-love for you and taking care of yourself is knowing you know, whatever, a scary movie, whatever it is for you. It's like, okay, I shouldn't watch that right now. You know, or this is getting me amped up, or this is making me stressful, or this makes me feel good, this makes me feel peaceful, this makes me feel loved. You know, you know what I'm saying? So really connect in with your body and rise above any doubt or anything that people say, oh, you should do this, or, or you should eat this, or you should wear this, or everybody's doing this, or this is the new food, or this is... Or you have to be vegan, or you have to be, you know, plant-based, or you have to eat meat, or you have to eat vegetables, or you have to eat only carbs, or only ice cream, whatever it is. I don't know. Whatever it is, you need to check back in with your body and focus on your body and listen to your body and just connect in. What do I need? Not what everybody else is doing and saying I need, but bring it back to you. Some of you are already doing this, and your body is expressing so so much love and is feeling so much better because you've changed a habit. Now, some of you, this is a habit that you need to change to bring in the feeling of more love and connection. Okay, let's just see. Are we going to take them all? Yeah, it's not that much. Okay, we got sick. Oh, got a lot here. Okay, sustainability, the body, mental, emotional health, health, focusing on the body. What sustains your body? What sustains your body is going to make you feel good. Okay, what's sustaining you and not, now this is like, oh, you can't ever have an ice cream or whatever it is for you. But it's like, what's the balance for you? That's what you need to start looking at. You need to start looking at things from a more balanced perspective. Or know that guides are correcting me. Your body's correcting me. The guides of your healing guides of your body are correcting me. It's not even about balance. It's about just listening to your body. Creating a routine that's better for your body. Focusing on your mental, emotional, physical health. Especially the body, the physical health. Some of you, it is focusing on feeling better about your body and the changes in your body. Oh, I just did. I said change. We got Uranus. So some of you have gone through a lot of body changes. And so it's getting comfortable, Saturn, with any limitations that you have right now within the body. Alliance. Okay, this is making sense. This is making sense. I'm making sense of it. Your body is very talkative. We've got clarity and calm, solar calm. Well, what happens? You feel better and you'll have more clarity when you listen to your body, when you have an alliance with your body, when your body, when you allow your body to be in partnership with your thinking part of you. So the feeling, thinking, 
part of you. All of that needs to come in. The thinking, the feeling. The thinking and the feeling. This is about balancing the thinking you and the feeling you. And that's going to give you what you need to do, what you need to know. That's going to create an amazing partnership where I just trust my body. Or, you know, I know everything's going to be okay. I just feel it in my body. Um, the next phase for you with your body is about, I don't know, just a love, appreciation for the miracle that your body is and how it can heal and what it can do, what it's gone through, what it's, you know, what you're able to create and do by being in a body, by being in an earth suit, a body. We don't, we don't have an earth experience without a body. The body is the vessel. It's a vehicle for the soul and it's the instrument of the soul. So some of you have particular limitations. Now I'm going to see here. There's certain cards that are sticking up. We're going to just go with that. Ooh, that seems to be a lot, but I'll trust it. Hopefully I can get them all out. The Eight of Pentacles on the back. Those Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles keeps coming out. So I'm curious about that. Okay, the Wheel of... Well, look at that. Past false assumptions that you got from your family or tradition. You're clearing that out. Family of origin, culture, cultura, society. Also, be, be careful of comparing yourself by what you see on YouTube or social media or TV or film or whatever you're ingesting. You gotta stop comparing. You gotta love where you're at, love your body, love how it is, love how, whatever that means to you. Wheel of Fortune coming in. Let's get these cards out. We've got the Five of Pentacles, body. Five of Pentacles has to do with the body. With a Saturn, this tells me some of you have had some kind of healing crisis or something has been going on with the body or negative thinking. could be thinking, but it could also be there's been some trauma in the body or body issues, sickness, condition, illness, or healing you know, could be muscles, could be Saturn, it could be something with your teeth that you need to get done, um, or your spine, your skeletal system. Three of Wands, but you're getting it done. We've got the Emperor. Okay, we've got Justice here. Nine of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. So, Eight of Pentacles. So, I really feel for you that this shift or change that's that you're creating, that you're working on right now, and there's the Libra, the balance. Remember I said it's more about balance, and then your body corrected me and said that it's more about listening to what your body needs, not what you think it needs or other people think it needs. But it is also some of you need better balance in your life. So we've got Aries and we've got Libra. We've got that polarity here. And so this for you, some of you has to do with the balance of how much on your own, how much for the other. You know, are you getting too much empathic overload? So you need to pull it back and do, be more on your own? Have you pushed the body too much and you need to take a break, okay? Have you pushed yourself with your financial goals or your goals externally? If there's a lot of change, how can you have more care for the body? If you know you're going through a lot of change, how can you adapt your routine? Maybe it's having a flexible day. Maybe it's asking for more help or support. But it does show that the changes that you're making are putting you into a better connection with your body. It's a work in progress. You've been a lot of you have been working on it or you're going to be, but there does need to be also I'm hearing with this group a work balance, a live work, you know, work play balance. There needs to be more balance in your life. Um, whatever that is, is it family and your your you know, downtime, alone time on your own time? Is it work balance? Is it friends and family? Is it friend balance? You know, there's something about you need to balance out because a lot of you are taking on a lot of energy 
And so this is just bringing more consciousness from a body perspective, from the body messages, more conscious as what is the best way for you to live. Right now, it could change. But just for now, your body is asking you, hey, let's take a check in and create some new structure, maybe some health. There's maybe health concerns or maybe there's some things that you need to help a check up or just maybe you know, oh, I need to exercise more or stretch more or walk more. Or maybe I need to do yoga or maybe I need to listen to a particular type of music that's healing or maybe it's certain foods. It, 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 it could be food. It could be exercise. You know, it's the care of the physical body, but it's also with ether there, it's also the subtle energy. Do you, is it toning? Maybe you're doing drumming. Maybe you're doing the crystal bowl, you know, um, maybe meditation, maybe sound meditation, maybe, maybe toning, maybe you get your own crystal bowl for alignment. Maybe it's a tuning fork. So this could be with other people you know supporting you as a as a practitioner healing or healthcare practitioner or it could be you but you're taking charge now of your energy and your energetic patterning now we have um the polarity here we have um, aquarius aquarius leo scorpio taurus or taurus scorpio leo aquarius so those could be relevant for you aquarius energy this could be the composition of your chart or people around you but it also says Scorpio could be more inward or on their own and it, both of these are fixed so there could be something with again be more adaptable with people and your commitments and your goals um, again all of these are fixed right we've got Taurus and we've got Leo so maybe the adaptability is how much do you push how much do you push for outer goals and how much do you allow just random self-expression or to focus on your projects or your dreams so you're gonna you're definitely learning a lot by your body wisdom there's this amazing gain of insight intuition and body wisdom that's coming so that you are this authority of what you need you're connecting in more to your own inner authority and your body is loving that your body is feeling like this amazing partnership it reminds me of an athlete or a dancer or anybody that does any kind of performance or just as more body conscious there there's this recognition that this is a partnership this is a divine partnership with your body it's time to be in partnership with your body and if you are already kudos to you great so you're changing up your body a lot of you there's going to be body changes due to the changes that you're doing in health, food, routine. Um, you're going to be more comfortable with your body. There's a next new level of comfort that's coming in. There's a new level of comfort and appreciation for your body that's coming in. Oh, speak up. Yeah, ask your body, what do you need right now? What do you need? What are the, what's the food that you need? What do you need? What do you want right now? I can put this down here. Speak up. But you're doing it. Or you're going to. Some of you, this is with other people. You need to speak up. Like, oh, I'd really like to get together with you, but I'm kind of tired or I had a long day or a long week. Like, I get with someone, you know, could, like, okay, can we do it Sunday? Or can we do it Monday? Or can we do it next week? Or I've got a lot on right now let's do a catch up later. So some of you have to speak up to what you need more. And that's a form of self love. I, I got to say this empathic overload. Some of you are either very intuitive, psychic, or, and or both an empath or you're very empathic, even if you don't consider yourself um, psychic. Everyone's intuitive, everyone has a sixth sense. But you pick up a lot or there's certain people around you that drain you. Either they're not a match or they're just different. You know, sometimes people require more energy and we love them. You can love them. But they could require sometimes more energy. So it's not that you want them out of their your life. It's just that they take a certain type of energy or a certain quality of energy or they take more energy or they're more difficult. They're not, maybe they're more complainy, you know, and, and 
and maybe that's a relationship that you had with them where you kind of, they debrief to you, you know, call or get together or text, and it's just this debriefing all the time. Maybe you both debrief to each other, but it's like your, your soul through your body is not wanting to do that. Yes, yeah, see, this is time for renewal and recharge. Yeah, you got to take time. That's part of your structure. That needs to be, you need to schedule in your time, renewal time. I don't know. Is it massage? Is it whatever it is, whatever renews your spirit. But if you haven't been doing that, you're going to. Because I see changes in your schedule and the way that you work that's going to allow this. This is this is a new schedule that's coming in. Oh yeah, see, look at this. If you feel stuck. A lot of you from a job, and look, it's under emperor. A lot of you, there's a job or something that you're doing or how you're living, especially with the emperor there or justice, where you don't feel that you are remunerated enough. It, it, you're not receiving an, enough pay or for what you do. Or some of you are saying it's no longer worth it, even though you're getting paid a lot. You want something that's much more um, emotionally fulfilling. Okay, we've got long term. So some kind of opportunity is coming in that could turn long term. I feel it could be relationship, but really I feel that it has to do more with... Um, uh, business. So a lot of you are looking long range, like something I'm doing is not sustainable. And your body is giving you that message. It's giving you the message to create new structure and structure that's much more fulfilling. Speak up to people so that you're not, you have to be heard. Whether other people are hearing you you have to hear you. You have to hear you when enough is enough, when you've done. You can't go on anymore, or you need a break. Or when your body says, I want to move, it wants to move, or it wants to connect with people, it wants a hug or hug someone, it wants to be out and about, or it wants to be within. Your body is giving you messages of what to do. Some of you, I feel like you get up in the morning and your body's giving you a certain message, and some of you are kind of going in your head by what you think you need to do. Also, I'm really reminded with this to really figure out the balance with your social media or phone, texting, phone, especially if it's at night. Or maybe it's about, maybe your body doesn't want to just, it maybe want to do some, it might, maybe want to, wants to do something else in the morning. I don't know why I'm getting that. But anyway, you're creating this amazing alliance with your body. The message is remember that we all exchange energy and some people take more energy. That's just how they're wired and you just have to make adjustments. You know, if or if you have a lot on, some of you might be caring for someone or nursing someone. And so that's taking more energy and rightly so they can't give as much back because of the sickness or illness or condition or, you know, so just really finesse it right now with your body this amazing Aries energy where you are some of you rehabilitating getting stronger you don't want to drain your energy you don't want to allow your energy to get drained all right let's look at a astrodice message spirits message through the astrodice about this reading for you 11th house Venus in Scorpio in the 11th house. I just heard your dreams are possible, but Venus in Scorpio, wow. This is really about getting to the root of what is supportive of you. It could be the, what's luxurious for you. What, what do you need to do by getting into the feelings? The feelings. This is about not keeping things on the surface. Let's 
Yeah, you have to really get to your body and understand what, um, oh my God, I had music on and now. Okay, that has to do for you though because <laughs> what I'm getting with this is like what are you doing in your life? What are the interruptions? So some of you are getting interrupted in your life there's some kind of interruption. You want to do something and then it's interrupted. You have to speak up. You have to take your your own body wisdom in account of what you need, your life. Like your goals, your dreams are very important. So it's, it's important that you take the time to focus on them, to, to make them, to understand that they are important. They're, they're not just important to you. I just heard the body of work. Something about your body of work. Some of you are with that Scorpio. You're, you're tapping into something ancient. Scorpio, a bloodline. Something to do with the bloodline. Ancient bloodline. Is it royal bloodline? There's a bloodline. There's an ancient memory that's coming through. Ancient wisdom. Some of you are working with the ancients. You're working with the elders. And so that information, some of you, um, it could be some kind of ceremony also or ritual that you're integrating, you're using, but it has a lot to do with cleansing, purifying, clearing the body. Now, maybe you're doing this for yourself. Some of you are moving into position maybe where you do it with others or you're structuring a business around this, but you have to have the same care for your body. Whatever you're doing for others, you need to also be doing that for yourself. So that's about living consciously. In other words, you're not just a practitioner doing this. Whatever you are teaching or sharing, you need to be living this also. Um, wow. Okay. Your soul insights mantra is I'm the living embodiment of higher vibrational conscious living. Snap. Wow. Wow. All right, soul story number four, big hug, lots of love and light. Hello, soul light. I just heard Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva, wisdom, sattva, body wisdom coming through. All right, you've got the throat chakra. Do you see that? This indigo blue agate. And we've got that fifth chakra coming up for you. The music change. I have music in the background. And I feel a soothing energy with you. Let's see what's coming up. We've got third eye chakra. So the throat, third eye, solar plexus. Ooh, soul star chakra merging with the divine and heart chakra. Back to love. Wow. So you're, there's a lot moving around for you um, energetically. You're getting a lot of tuning. <laughs> I don't know if you did the attunement meditation, alignment and attunement meditation with me, but there's a lot shifting for you energetically. I, I feel guides with you. It's funny because... In between soul stories, I'm shuffling and preparing the cards, and I'm, I'm like, oh my god, another long reading. My guide, because I work with the guides, spiritual hierarchy and the oversouls, spirit, God, as well, other people's God. You know, everything's come, so many energies and opening that are coming through me, and I'm like, they have so much to say. Well, I feel that with you, with the throat chalk. There's so much to say. Soul star chakra, you are connecting into your soul your soul signature frequency, your soul design, your soul matrix, and you have so much. You have a, you came here to help with the awakening of humanity, the awakening, one area of awakenings, and heart. You're very heart-based, heart-centered. Um, you have a lot of alignment energetically. I would say also that I'm getting a, gr a strong energy of indigo, crystalline, and star seeds, various 
beings from different star seed tribes, planetary. Uh, I just heard planetary emissary. Ooh, you're an emissary. L you're li liaisoning through the heart. You're here to bring in love, the binding force of the universe is love and that love could be creativity so you're having an amazing and major awakening um, a lot of, I, I feel like multiple chakras are opening for you multiple energy centers I feel like there's just openings even I'm getting the ancestor center which is part of the heart chakra energy in the back the ancestor chakra is located um it's about a foot behind the solar plexus, or solar plexus, but well, I'm just looking at solar plexus, um, the upper back. So there is something about, like, what is, okay, hold on, this message, wow. You're an emissary of light. You are here on a mission. So you are getting a lot of alignment work, maybe even physically. Wow, look at that. I said you are a light and you're getting a lot of your beacon of light, a leader, a teacher for more people. This is my, look at what's behind this, kindred souls. This is my star seed group, teachers, light workers, healers, mystics. You know, tarot readers, divination, but but with a higher vibrational consciousness. So, I feel a lot of you are very not only very intuitive and empathic, but very psychic. A lot of you channel. A lot of you work with the healing light energy. Um, some of you Saint Germain, with that blue there and the third eye chakra. Um, but I get an indigo, crystalline, star seed. Some of you haven't had many lifetimes here. So you're getting adjustments energetically within your subtle energy body. So there's a lot of work also within your body. Some of you are working on your body right now. Um, some of you may have some relationships that are no longer working or around you or you don't feel as called to spend time with them or maybe you want to spend time with someone and they're not having the time. So there, there could be some, there's a shift happening with you where you're, there's a different resonance for you coming in. So there's going to be different, uh, some kind of experience with friendship. You're he you've healed a lot. Some of you are starting to heal more. These inner child, any kind of trauma or wounding. Um, but you're, wow. I feel, even though you didn't get higher heart, I feel like the heart, this is the universal heart. I guess because you're connecting a lot through the soul. A lot of you have had to kind of learn to be more human. Look at that. Yeah, collective consciousness. You're working with the collective. So you've been giving out a lot. Well, I've never gotten this. Light heart, let your inner child. That's the solar plexus. The one thing you have to do, because you've come in with kind of a heavy mission. Some of you have transmuted a lot of darker or negative energy when I say dark it's just denser energy energy that maybe maybe hasn't had an outlet with I think you were probably in the family you might have felt scapegoated or like you were the aware one the awake one the teacher the truth teller you've been processing and, and funneling channeling a lot of energy on the earth plane and with people around you where you're able to transmute energy through the body and, and the subtle energy body, the denser physical body, your light cleanses and clears and you work with guides that cleanse and clear around you. So you're constantly transmuting energy. A lot of people are drawn to your light, to share, to talk, you know, to open up to you. Friends know that they can come to you. So yeah, there's a lot opening up for you heart opening yeah part of the heart opening is you're you're getting more comfortable being on the earth plane and being frankly human and having human experiences even though you're very advanced it's like yeah but when you come here the end there's contrast right there's dissonance and contrast and 
so it's it's like things get potentized you know what's bigger becomes smaller what's smaller becomes bigger so um, it's not that you're not very aware or highly evolved you are but on the earth plane it you know manifests a different everything does I learned this at one point I did choreography and when I would see things back not everybody did the same thing whether it was dance or whether it was modeling I, I'm like and I remember talking to one of my producers I'm like it's not exactly how I visioned I, I why did they go walk to the left when they were supposed to walk to the right and she said that's human you're never going to have something exactly as you envision it exactly as you see it there's always going to be something a little off something a little to the right could be something even better but you didn't plan on it or maybe it's not aesthetically to you what you would want but it's what the collective is bringing and so you're having to make peace with that now to make peace with imperfection whether within yourself or or uh, life and that's you're healing that idea of not being perfect or life isn't perfect or relationships aren't perfect. It's not even about mistakes. It's just about things are not always perfect. They are what they are or how they are. Okay, you got Alliance. You got Midheaven. I just heard the invitation to dance. Dancing is important for you. You're going to meet some people... And in your this through this attunement, this alignment that you're going through energetically, and some of you it is on the earth plane with people here, you know, practitioners, health practitioners, whatever, you know, doctors, whatever. Um, maybe it's yoga or acupuncture. I don't know, whatever it is. But there's also I feel like on the etheric plane, you're getting a lot of work done, and it's aligning you. Um, for a whole up leveling you're up leveling so you've had so much energy work done so much physical work your body is getting more and more receptive now if you're not there you're going to be there if you resonate with this reading then it's happening and here is the descendant this is the descent this is you coming into matter so a lot of you have ascended you're living from more and more of an ascended place which is out of the extremes of polarity and now it's about the, dis oh, the descending into matter right what matters to you the descent is the invitation to live and to experience and express on the earth plane through earthly desire desire right okay and then we've got conjunction ally I think soul story number four had this feel a resonance to that an ally of the body and then relationship yeah okay you're looking for allies you're looking for soulmates kindred souls you're looking for those you want a higher vibrational love higher vibrational connections higher vibrational work higher vibrational career you're adding that component because you're finally opening this soul star chakra energy is is integrating into the denser physical body now look at this is all upward you've got the solar plexus you've got the third eye the, the third chakra you know the sixth chakra third eye focus this is psychic vision a lot of you are very very psychic I don't feel anything about if you really resonate with this reading there's nothing about manifestation is happening you're manifesting your goals are happening this is about really keeping that integration into the higher vibrational frequency of you the expansion living from the higher self look at this you've got the beloved venus okay, i'm gonna do more in 12th house introspection so a lot of you have come in this karmic completion you're completing something this lifetime a lesson an experience a job a mission most of you it's a job it's a mission this is your last lifetime um, either for a very long time or forever. Uh, you'll go back to your other planet. Some of you will be subsumed into the all that is in the right timing. I'm not seeing that right now. Um, but this is a time for you to share your light. You are that lighthouse, that beacon of light for people. And now your light, your vibrational frequency through your body, your, your denser physical body, through the 
heart chakra of your body, you know, you're pulsating, you're emitting this transmission, this message. A lot of you feel the love and others are feeling that love for you. So you're working on a quantum level. You're working with the collective consciousness of humanity to raise it up, to awaken. And you have accepted this invitation to come here on this earth plane to do this. And it's faded. This is, it's karmic. It's faded. This is many lifetimes of you being in this position. So there's also souls that are waiting to meet you. There are people that are waiting to connect with you. So you're going to be connecting with a lot more kindred souls, okay? Kindred spirits, souls that are from the same soul group or soul cluster as you. You know, we incarnate uh, with groups of souls that are focused, have a similar focus, resonance, coherence to us, um, you know, gifts, learning lessons. And so you're starting to attract that. Um, the preparation for you, I, I really feel like the preparation is that you're just doing a lot in the etheric and astral. And for some of you also the Akashic, there's a lot of, you're living out the Akashic direction. Your higher self is guiding you through the map of the Akashic justice. What did I say? It's karmic. And what I mean, karma simply means cause and effect. I mean, we had a, um, what do you call it? A physicist on our show, and I cannot remember her name, but, but she's also Hindi, and is, so is a Hindu. And so she gave us the real meaning of um, karma, what karma is. But this is like you're getting your just rewards, what the justice Libra energy. Some of you could be Libra or you're going to be meeting a Libra. The Libra is very important, the time of Libra. But I feel more than balance for you. I feel this has to do with the what you came here to do, the results, the result that's karma, the results of what you've done, what you've put in. And then we move into the wheel of fortune. Emperor. Wow, there's the Emperor has come up quite a bit. So has Justice and so has Wheel of Fortune. So that is interesting. But look at this. Three major arcana already. And then we've got the Three of Wands. And here the thing is, some of you don't feel you fit in. But you do fit in. Some of you think you don't fit in. And I get it. There's a star seed. With what you're bringing in and you're... You, operate at such a high level advanced level I get it some people don't get you some people are afraid of you some people are really drawn to you but how do you open up you're learning to open up you're learning to become more intimate and there it is the two of cups some of you under the beloved you are attracting a kindred soul that is going to be your partner your life partner Okay, so that is coming for those of you that want that. There we go. You have to trust the divine timing of things right now. So much is not in your control because look at we go into the high priestess. Now, what I do see with uh, here is that a lot of you are very entrepreneurial or you work on your own or you have maybe a spiritually based business or you're doing that on the side. And the thing is, is what you need to start connecting to um, is um, is honoring your mystical side of you. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you because the thing is, some of you are resisting that and there's just no way. Um, there we've got the Queen of Wands. So some of you are also teachers, your mystic teachers. Um Some of you are meant to be teaching or sharing or you're going to find the heart chakra. You're just meant to connect to the heart. You're living from the soul. A lot of you have come in with a very strong connection to your soul. Yeah, let me just see here. What's the Look at you've got one, two, three, four major arcana. The lesson that you're learning is that you do fit in. Some of you don't feel you fit in or you don't feel a connection 
sometimes to earth or humans, the human people. <laughs> the humans, the humans, humans, humans. Yeah, you're learning that. You're connecting in. But there are some people that are uh, slated to connect with you that you're going to start meeting. That you're going to. You there's like an amazing star group that's coming in. There's people from your your star group, your star system that are coming in. And they're also teachers. They're also you know various people, men, women. To all all kinds yeah you're starting to attract your soul tribe more and I know a lot of you are like oh my god it's been so long or I've been hoping for that or I feel so alone you're starting to connect with your soul group kindred souls are going to be from your soul group is are going to be sent to you so just Gosh, you got to just keep the higher perspective. And even though you kind of sometimes feel like a fish out of water, you don't feel like you fit in or belong here, you do. Your body is of the earth. So some of you could be walk ins. There was a connection with the star seed energy with the earthed body. Even though, you know, you're bringing your consciousness within that body, that body also has family history, you know, it has societal, cultura, you know, the culture, um, human history, right? And so sometimes there's, that's, you have to align, you have to have a better alliance with your human history. Seventh house. I think a lot of you are going to be consulting or working with people, maybe teaching or mentoring. Some of you are going to be um, in much much better collaborative relationships I feel connection I'm getting like the higher vibrational aspect of you is going to be connecting you're going to be connecting more connection is key for you it's all about the connection you're learning about the connection. You're going to be recognized and others are recognizing you. This is about being recognized. Now, this could be becoming more public for some of you as a starseed, as a light worker, as a teacher, as a guide, as a consultant. Or for some of you, it could be that you are ready to be seen more or you're ready even in your job or you know work environment or maybe with friends or family, you're revealing yourself more. You're more seen for who you are, what you're about. Okay, we've got create, and that goes with that queen of wands. Creativity. Your creativity comes from beyond. It comes from the stars. It comes, you have a certain perspective, a certain way of seeing things or tapping in, and then you get these amazing out downloads, these amazing ideas. You are a futurist. You're progressive. You're a futurist. You're seeing the future. You're seeing where things are evolving. Aries, right? Energy we have here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got Pisces here. Okay, Aries again. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra. So the... It's about working with people, and so some of you may have been hiding, and so you're being prepared. Look at I said hiding, and then you've got speak up. Now this has, keeps coming up, so this is telling me part of the reason I've obviously did this work. You've got speak up, and this is the fifth chakra here, the throat chakra, is you have to start speaking up. It's time for you to be more public and speak up and share the insight, the knowledge that you have. It's time for you to share. Create. Create ways for you to share your knowledge, your gifts. They're coming. The people are coming. The right people. The floodgates are opening. Some of you that work with people or whatever, you know, maybe you're selling something online or you're working, you're going to have a lot more to do. You're going to be very busy. But you, if you keep it in this higher vibrational flow... You know, soul star chakra, soul star chakra, heart, solar plexus, third chakra, sixth chakra, you know, third eye chakra, sixth chakra. 
um, and the fifth chakra. Th these are all, you know, upper chakras. They're the trans. They're moving you into the transpersonal. Now the soul star chakra is part of the transpersonal. When we get into the seventh, eighth, eighth chakra has to, seventh chakra is extending or expanding into the spirit realm. Eighth chakra connecting in through the higher self. And the, but there's still duality there. Higher self, lower self, right? Higher mind, lower mind, beta consciousness, alpha, theta, zeta, you know, whatever. Uh, on and on. I'm getting zeta. Zeta reticulum. Zeta something. Zeta is coming through. Um, but then you've got the ninth chakra, ascension. And then you've got the tenth chakra, which connects you to your soul group. Eleventh chakra connects you to humanity. And twelfth chakra is emerging which did you have that with Pisces, is the merging. So a lot of you merge, a lot of you have brought in information from other lifetimes, past life, other dimensional. You still bring in other dimensional information. Some of you um, see other dimensional beings. Wow, this is what you need to connect to, your brilliance. Connect to your brilliance, the light that you are collective consciousness you're bringing new downloads insights working with technology 11th house wow see outside forces this is because you're fated that you're very guided your spirit team spirit guides your higher self but a lot of you work with a spirit team or spirit guides or perhaps you could say also for some of you galactic guides um to take one more because you're on the verge of finding the perfect work for you or the perfect match so the next focus for you i'm getting a lot through the subtle energy of you the attuning that's happening for you through the chakras and energy centers of the body is bringing you better matches kindred souls is bringing you better matches in your life in all areas of your life it's not just one area so it's going to be wink, wink, nod, nod. Oh, you're a star seed too, or you have this. I, I, I'm telling you, all walks of life, you're going to be connecting more and more with those that are much better resonance, higher vibrational resonance. So you're meeting more in the higher vibrational resonance, the resonance of the light worker, light being, star seed, your galactic connection, it's, uh, you know, or, or seeing beyond, seeing in the transpersonal. This is a lot about the bigger picture, the transpersonal aspect of life, connecting into the collective of consciousness, the collective, and, and shifting the collective through the heart opening, through love, and through your creations. Wow, amazing. All right, let's get a message through the Astrodice from Spirit. Let me just see Spirit. Yeah, of course, Sagittarius in the second house. Jupiter and Sagittarius. Jupiter, expansion, collective. Higher vibrational with Sagittarius. Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. Um, this is the higher collective. This is the galactic. You are connecting to your galactic roots, starseed roots. And second house, it's to... to understand that enjoy that see that as a resource see that as your gift to share with humanity it also brings resources abundance prosperity resources of people to you you have people being sent to you you're sent to work with other people and connect in creative ways creative projects healing ways this this divine presence that's coming through for you is bringing you the right people the right person the right situations Things are being righted now. There's an alignment and attunement that's happening. There's a soul alignment that's happening, but a vibrational alignment through the energetic bodies, the chakras, the energetic bodies. All, oh, it's you, Jupiter and Sagittarius. This is about cosmic union, cosmic divine balancing gifts remuneration, rectification, attuning and aligning to the higher vibrational frequency. There's a rebalancing taking place so, so that you step into your rightful place. So the shift for you is in the subtle energy. The subtle bodies are affecting your denser physical bodies. All right, so light, I gotta give you a little 
ding because wow, wow, this is really all about the subtle Jupiter and Sagittarius in the second house. Your spiritual gift, your connection to spirit, your understanding of the spirit realm is part of your gift to share. It's part of your resources or as a resource. But spirit's going to be pumping in and your guides, your healing guides, your teachers, your mentors on this dimension, this level, and on the other side, on the, the veil, the veil's lifting for you. You're connecting more to a higher vibrational frequency of you and the philosophy of life, of your life is changing. All right, lots of love and light. Um, oh, let's get to Soul Insights Mantra here. Wow, okay. I am connecting to a higher vibrational frequency of love, light, abundance, and wisdom. And I am living out this higher vibrational frequency in my relationships and life circumstances. Enjoy the ride. Love and light. Hello, Radiant Soul. If you chose Soul Story number six, this is your reading. Let's connect into your energy. All right, you have third eye chakra, sixth chakra, psychic eye, psychic vision, indigo. Wow, okay. You're starting to connect in to more of your subtle energy or subtle energy bodies. There is a development within your third eye focus. So a lot of you could be having visions or dreams. Um, you're setting your own synchronicities up. Many of you are having synchronistic experiences or more synchronistic experiences. Or you think of someone and they call or they text or you, you know, bump into them. Or someone's thinking of you, you're thinking of them. Or you're just now thinking of them and somehow they show up in your dream. Really pay attention to your dreams right now. The Akashic field, that resonant field that houses the oversoul memory of you, the world, the earth, life, the universe, is trying to reach you and some of it is about clarity about things that you're going through right now some of it is about what's to come I just heard future focus there's something about focusing more on your future or where you want to go what are the plans that you're creating in your future all right let's look at the cards and see what's coming up so here you have third eye focus and it really is just that. I feel activation energy. I feel like there's an activation for you. Uh, then you have Earth Star Chakra. Yeah, initiation. So this is about what is your vision or what are you receiving about the future? Some of you, this is quite predictive. What's going to happen on the Earth plane? The other message I'm getting from the subtle energy body, so I'm really connecting in to the subtle bodies of you at this point. It's about feeling safer to express and experience as a soul on this planet, safer to experience and express as you, to follow through on your hunches, your gut knowing, your intuition, your visions, your dreams, your goals, the information that you're receiving. Yes, root chakra ground and center so this is also an energy of the star seed or the walk-in for some of you if you have that awareness of if that is you there is a group of you that are about to embark on something much more dramatic i heard and soul aligned from your body okay so your body is opening up to higher vibrational information impulses through light you're getting a lot of information and it's coming within the body or it's speaking to you within the body 
you are becoming or about to become very attuned to your body vehicle and being more comfortable, more joyful on earth, on this earth plane, feeling like you belong. A lot of you have healed what we call the button of not belonging. Uh, in religion, they call original sin, where they're really sin in Latin, S-I-N, means without, like san, nothing, right? And so the original, you could say original blessing, but the mis misinterpretation was feeling separate from God, feeling separate from source, infinite innate source energies, feeling separate from the all that is. You're either about to heal that or you are healing that now or that has been healed within you. It's coming to a healing where you're going to see yourself, life, and all on earth different from a higher perspective. Now, your challenge and mission, if you choose to accept it, <laughs> your body, you have a humor. Your body has some humor. Your guides and your higher self have some humor. There's a lot of humor uh, within your energy, and you're going to be connecting more to that to be able to see and predict and know, but yet keep a humor, keep a lightness about it. So there is a surrendering now to the flow of life, your life, your eternal flow through you as how you're living it out on this earth plane. So there can be some introspection at this time. You need to take those ideas and ground them in the body. You need to take those ideas or just the energy that you're feeling very expanded at times and feel it in the body. Allow the body to be a part of it. It's not just heady. Oh, yeah, and then we go sacral. Yeah, see? The root in the sacral. So it's about grounding and centering these higher vibrational frequencies. That's your initiation right now. Some of this you're not going to have much ego control on. It's just opening to these energies, feeling it, and allowing it more in the body. And maybe pause, oh, this feels interesting. Wow, I feel really expanded right now. Or I feel really deep. I feel heavy. I feel dense. It's going to be all kinds of feelings and emotions and thoughts arise from this. You're being asked to get into your body to connect deeper into the subtle energy bodies. Now for you, a big part of this awakening, yes, is happening in the root center, the base of the spine, the base chakra or root chakra, um, Mula Bandhara, and the sacral chakra. So some of you could also be working with the chakras or working or doing yoga. Anything for you, hip openers, if you're going to do any exercise or yoga or stretching, hip openers, figure eights, swaying, bobbing, like you bob with, you know, when people are, um, you know, this kind of motion. I used to do boxing and kickboxing. So the bob and weave. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about grounding, even getting up in the morning and kind of bending your knees a bit, softening the knees, you know, getting in, if those of you that are dancers, dance, it's second position. Squats are good for you right now. Just a short squat to connect you more to the earth and have that idea, not just of the root chakra, but the earth star chakra. So you're going from the root chakra into the earth star chakra. So this is a deeper connection into the earth plane and feeling very centered and safe and secure to express through the third eye chakra, right? Through the sixth chakra, the psychic aspect of you. So there's an activation for you psychically, which means on the soul level. So a lot of your changes are coming from the Akashic. They're moving from the Akashic realm into the astral, etheric, and then into the denser physical body to get rooted and grounded in the earth star chakra. So a lot of you could have been feeling kind of up, maybe floaty or out there or not quite earthed or not quite grounded or not quite centered or not quite here or there. You could be in between changes, but this is a initiation. This is a 
next level of soul alignment. This is also part of your awakening process and also the ascension because when we really ascend, we both descend into matter deeper into the earth and ascend. So because it's really the same, when you descend into matter, when you connect to the earth star chakra, you are ex extending into the galactic center, into the spirit realm. It's all spirit, but we, but we work with gravity, gravitational pull up, lighter, down, heavier, denser, right? Our denser physical body, or what they call metaphysically the gross body, is denser, is heavier than when we extend or expand upward, that whole idea, it lightens up. But you're going to start seeing it more as one and the same. A lot of you are being moved out of the polarity plane, the extremes of the polarity plane. It might be hard for you to be around conflict right now or too much dissonance. You're seeking more resonance within your body. Resonance. I can even feel it. I want to roll my R. Resonance. Resonance. Like in Spanish, refrigerator, refrigeradora, refrigeradora, refrigeradora. Okay, so there's something with you with getting more aligned and in tune. Really work with vibrational frequency at this time. Sound, toning, singing, humming for you. Humming, saying your name out loud. Okay, we've got expansion so you're expanding through the root chakra into the earth star chakra now it's not here soul star chakra but i keep feeling the soul star chakra with you so there is that initiation from the pause point which is above the crown chakra it's a foot to two feet maybe three feet three feet above the crown chakra and that natural pause point is the beginning of the ascension, which is the ninth chakra. So you're also opening up to a, a different game on earth, perhaps attracting, I heard earth angels. So you're going to be attracting differently. You're, you're, there's a lot of clearing that's been happening in the root and in the sacral chakra. This is why you're also feeling better. You're going to feel better about being here on the earth or any challenges that you're going through. You're going to start feeling a lot better. That's what I'm hearing. Better and better. Okay, let's see. Now that came out in another reading. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. okay I'm hearing one more. What is this? dream come true okay so a lot of you there's a couple things that you've had to be working on and that is the challenges remember I said you've come through a lot so there's challenges um, right now it's it's try not to prejudge what you're going through um, your life right now it could be a bit topsy-turvy it could be things up in the air but you're grounding it because there's changes that are happening for you on a soul level through the akash right the soul the akashic realm and so these changes what's happening is a soul shift for you your ego personality is shifting to open up to the higher vibrational frequency through your higher self to your soul so there's going to be a change of your inner dialogue um, that's coming from the healing of the sacral chakra where you're feeling better about yourself and your self-worth that's causing these this soul shift that's going on from the soul searching from your looking within from your pondering your wondering from your some of you dark night of a soul the soul literally there's something that's been eclipsed or hidden from you that is about to be revealed and look at this heart opening Another chakra story, a soul story, got this also. Oh, look at this. Heart, from heart and heart to heart opening. But do you see these colors here? Why is your, did your heart get hardened? Why did you close off, close off to certain people and situations? Because of wounding. 
because of trauma, uh, because of misunderstanding, miscommunication, misinformation applied to you. So what is now happening is the dream, the soul dream is coming through. And it says your dreams are coming true because you stay true to your heart's desire. So the healing that you have been doing, what do you want to call it? Emotional healing, whatever you've been healing, the heart, the heartache, the heartbreak, the misunderstanding, the miscommunication, what I, I feel like for some of you, it's been betrayal or lies or an inner dialogue that you learned that really didn't support you. You may, many of you were very hard on yourself, closed off to yourself. But now that you're feeling better and better and better and you're feeling safer and you're feeling the guidance, you're coming through this in initiation that you're feeling, I, yes, I have a higher self. That is me. I am navigated life through psychically. I'm connecting in through my intuition. So you're creating your own healing assisted by your higher guidance. And this is all coming from the soul. And it's so that this vision can come through. Moving this, what was not yet in form, and it's coming from the Akashic. Now, what's happening is you're getting enough through the sacral chakra, because the sacral chakra connects us into the emotions or energy emotion, the emotional body. Um, it, so it's coming through something about creation or creativity or self-expression, or there could even be a reinvention. There could You could have been blocked or stopped from something. Your vision wasn't coming through because it wasn't the clear vision. It wasn't the right vision for you. It wasn't the next level vision for you. You're starting to move into the next level vision. All right, let's look and see. Next level vision because you've cleared a lot through that sacral and root chakra. Those two foundational chakras. It's been a lot of healing and so you're really connecting in to what you're, oh wow, look at this, just came out, heal, yeah. It's been a lot of healing. This rebalancing and I almost feel this is kundalini this is healing so that the kundalini energy can come through more completely. Look at this, 2810. New beginning, new aspect, initiation, moving in a new direction. So some, again, this is initiation for you. You're, you're somehow going to be talking about this and, sh and sharing more on this. Yeah, look at this. I said talking and you've got think. But you also have hearth, which I was reading as health. So some of this healing has been done on the level of the body. Okay, so your body has opened up to the healing energies. Now, some of you work with healing guides. What is this? It's wanting to come out. Moon. Yes, it's changed your perception of life and what's possible in life. So you've literally had a perception change inner dialogue. Now, if you haven't feel like you're like, oh, I haven't done that yet. That hasn't happened yet. I invite you to when a doubt, a negative thought comes up. And, and it, really, it's not about stopping negativity. A lot of my clients sometimes say, I'm trying to think positive. I said, I don't want you to do that. I'm also a therapist. So trying to think positive thoughts doesn't work. You have to shift what's going on in the subconscious realm. Through, you, you have to shift the conditioning, the condition response patterns, the inner dialogue. So what you need to do is if a negative thought, like I, I'm not going to be able to do this, just ignore, okay, I hear you. Acknowledge that in your mind and go, a lot of people could do this, I could do this, or I could possibly do this. I want you to focus more on what it is you want. This is for some of you. Like I am manifesting the dreams you know, that I've been envisioning. I am guided by my higher self connecting to my soul or my soul is guiding me through my higher self. My heart is open and I am aware. 
So it's not so much to try to get rid of the negative thoughts or negative dialogue, because some of this inner dialogue you're picking up from other people or, or movies or TV shows or videos or what you're streaming, what you're hearing, you know, on radio or whatever, you know, <laughs> downloads, you know, just in the ethers. So for you, it's, it's more about enriching your inner dialogue, make your inner dialogue more rich with what you want and begin to even envision it envision this inner dialogue what are you seeing in this inner dialogue what are the me messages that you're receiving in this inner dialogue so for you it's a lot about inner communication what is, are the inner messages that you're receiving? What is the inner communication that you are receiving at this time? Okay, this is really important. So I'm going to heart opening the healing. Some of you are healing childhood trauma, what happened in the home. And what's happening though is your perception is changing and therefore you're thinking differently. Your perception is changing and you're thinking differently and that you're thinking differently. There is more hope and you're feeling better emotionally. And so what you see in yourself, the world is changing. And because your perception is changing, your perspective is changing. And because your perspective is changing, your dream is changing. And what is your dream? How you're dreaming up to live your life. How are you living your life? That's changing. So the blocks have been a blessing in disguise. The body wisdom coming through is saying you're not, you weren't ready. It wasn't time. The initiation, you were being prepared for the initiation. And that was some of the trouble or dark night of the soul or feeling blocked or stopped or what you thought was going to happen or was going to come through didn't come through because you had to be more prepared. Two of Pentacles. King of Cups. Yeah, this is what you're integrating. So there's something that you're integrating in your life. Eight of Swords. King of Wands. I'm going to get one more here because... It's the moon, and I heard that's part of the challenge. That's part of the gift, but that's also part of the challenge. And what does that mean? That means that the subconscious for you, you really need to work with the subconscious. Now, I have on my website, soulplayground.life. You can go to, I think it's Soul Path Tools, Projection, Perception, Five-Step Emotional Clearing Process. You can copy and paste. Um, there's an advanced version of the five-step emotional clearing process there. Plenty of videos you can record for yourself what you want to experience. But I do feel like there needs to be some kind of cleansing or clearing out, or that is happening. That's part of the initiation. So some of your block is not, some of it's within but for many of you, it's just it's circumstances. You ha you're having to go within, deeper within. You're having to go deeper within your process. And the body is welcoming this. Your body is welcoming this depth, this going deeper within. So the balance is your psychic self, the soul. How does it come through in your everyday living, your life, your projects, your expression in the world how you live in the world and and there's something you haven't integrated yet in that or haven't seen that's what you're starting to do and it's coming in the body and it has a lot to do with safety and security and so some of you are mining deep within there's a deep reservoir of information within that you're mining that you're it's within your ancestral lineage through the body, the cellular memory, the cellular input that you're putting in. 
So the message you're getting is, what are you putting in? Be mindful of what you're putting in. What is the input? How are you programming that great computer mind, right? Third eye chakra here, sixth chakra. So it's about infusing it more in the power of belief and understanding and connecting into the spirit realm, not to escape or leave, but to come more into the experience of earth, more into the earth play, the play of consciousness on earth, to actually be more earthed because earth is spirit in a manifested form. So you're to be really connecting into moving from formlessness into the form, into the manifestation. What do you want to create now? It's coming in other dimensionally, other lives, through your body, through your mind, through your body-mind. This is a great example of body-mind system, the body-mind the mind and body, the mind and body together, working together cohesively to create, to manifest, to live on this earth plane. So it's different for many of you, but it is, it's really this intuitive, emotional aspect with this part that likes to initiate, create, that likes to put forth in the world, but it's about that going within to do this process. These parts have been blocked or have not been able to come together. Now you've lived one and then the other, or sometimes you're in this mode and then you're in that mode. You see what I'm saying? Now it's about integrating and that happens in through the subtle energy of the subconscious mind that happens in meditation it happens in contemplation it happens as you just think less about these two aspects of you as separate and you allow your intuition to guide you to the expression of these two parts of you again intuition third eye focus clairvoyance a lot of you are developing clairvoyance And it's getting more comfortable with this part of you, these both parts. It's going to be some of you are more comfortable with this part. Others are comfortable with this part. It's bringing these aspects together. The healer, the ability to heal, right? You've got heal, heal yourself or others coming from wholeness, coming from depth. Some of you, your depth has scared you or it scared other people like why are you so deep why do you have to be so deep or why are you looking at me that way or what do you think or just that you want that depth in your life or more of it and so you're bringing it down onto the earth plane okay you're bringing it down your anchor it's already here and then maybe that's what you're opening up to that it's already here there is no up or down you know that's relative it's all here within you and that opens these amazing doors of life to you there's an opening that's happening where there's this just more authentic expression coming in you're going to be happier with yourself and in your body and what you see again i heard future forecast What does that mean to you? Future forecast manifesting it. Yeah, a lot of what you thought was pie in the sky, you're going to be manifesting. And the peacock here, right? Peacock feathers. It's time to show off. Show off what you know. You know, in a playful, light way. But it is time for you to show off. It's time for you to be seen your creations, your manifestations to be seen, whether that's personally or publicly, whether that's in your family or community, it's time for you to be seen. What you envision, what you enjoy, it's time for that to be seen. Harmony. Being at home within yourself. 
that's the harmony. And that harmony creates external harmony, that harmony within, feeling at home on the earth plane, feeling connected, opening to miracles because you believe. If you're not experiencing this yet, you're about to. And what you're going to realize is this inner connection and the connection to the all that is, to that flower of life, right? This connection that you begin to feel and see and you envision and you dream of more connection and you live more connection is changing your beliefs of what's possible. So a lot of this for you is a lot in the mental realm. We're going to put this beliefs here and what the healing is, is ultimately a miracle. And the recognition that you are this miracle. Life is a miracle. Dreams do come true. I'm keeping this here. Dreams do come true. We dream. The idea in making our dreams manifested or reality is just bringing them into physical form. But dreams do come true. And you are that dream, the dream of the all that is. How you're living your life is the dream of your soul. We are all the dream of God, God consciousness, God experiencing and expressing as us. That or the you know, a lot of people say, and sometimes I do too, the universe has God, but universe is even still limited. There's many universes, there's many planets planets that some people don't even know about or to see. So that infinite essence of the all that is, I call it God, God consciousness. That was, I wrote my dissertation on God as an energy. So I'm looking at it not as a being, but as the totality of the all that is. The universe, universe is God, planetary life. That living question as Carl Jung says, and I say, we're all, not just a living question, we're the living, we're the answer. And that's what you're realizing. Wow, I know this is deep, but you have a deep connection um, to your soul that's coming. You are coming into this initiation. It's like, a, it's an awakening. It's a further awakening. Look at this energy here. It's a very transformative time that's coming through the mental realm. Okay, the subtle body. So it's starting to come in through the mental realm. A new vision, a new idea of you, a new perception of you and life and what's possible. That's changing what you believe. And so because what you believe is changing, what you now manifest and experience is changing. And you're grounding it through the second and third, the second chakra. Okay, second and um, first, first and second chakra. And it has to do with now belonging, feeling that belonging, you belong. All right, let's get a last message through the Astro Dice. Soul story number six. Wow, second house of Taurus. Scorpio, there we go. Scorpio. Ah, the moon, there we go. Moon, moon and Scorpio. Look at that depth in the second house. Wow. A lot of you, this is going to be a psychic initiation into your very st strong intuition, using your intuition more. And for many of you, it's a psychic opening, an opening from the soul, your psychic abilities opening even more. So if you're already psychic, you're going to be even more psychic. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Cancerian energy. So being at home on the earth and using your abilities, coming from your soul, your soul mission, your purpose, you're stepping into that. All right, your soul insights mantra is, I step into my soul dream and I live out my soul dream abundantly, lovingly, and prosperously. Lots of love and light, so light. Hello, Radiant Soul. If you chose Soul Story number seven, this is your reading. I'm hearing, what could you do if you 
could do it bigger, what would you do? You are expanding through the crown chakra. Um, not just the crown. I feel with you, it could even be soul star chakra. I feel like the transpersonal chakras are really opening with you. Now, I only did the main, as we know, the main chakras, which there actually are. Um, 13 main chakras, 49 sub chakras, but actually everywhere where there's a connecting point within our body, um, within the environment, within the, the world, within the earth is chakras, right? Energy centers, vortexes, uh, vortices, ley lines. So you are expanding Got this wonderful pink, hot pink, magenta agate. Let me just connect in. I'm getting a lot with you. I, I feel like you could be a channeler or you could be downloading some kind of information. It's about expanding now. Your body wants to expand. You are expanding energetically. And I'm literally going like this with my arms. Okay. So your body feels the expansion. I'm, I'm sure you're feeling prepared. Like, I feel like I'm getting prepared for something. I feel like something's going to happen. I feel like there's some change happening. What's going on? I feel like you're questioning or you're starting to stir within your body. There's going to be changes also within your body. Physical changes. I'm getting physical changes that you're going through. This extension or expansion of energy, extending, a lot of you is extending your vitality, your prana, your life force energy. You are in some kind of extension period. Something's being extended. I'm hearing even your life is being extended. There's a lifeline being extended to you. So a lot of you are having this opening to something more, something no, more within yourself, within the world, but on in a different way, on a different level. All right, let's look at that, that crown chakra there. This is also about ex accepting and expecting better in the world, better treatment, better experiences. That's part of the up-leveling. It's like you're connecting into the nobility of your life, the sacredness. So a lot of you are moving just from survival or next level survival into thriving instead of surviving into thriving there's this idea about thriving right now opening up to the opulence of the world okay i don't know where that's coming from okay solar plexus chakra look at that radiant illumination yeah this is the solar plexus this is your Hara center, your empowerment center. It's also the center of the inner child. So it's telling me there's been a lot of, wow, look at this, a, a lot of healing light energy coming in. You've had some deep healing. I feel like there's also been inner truth, like of how actually amazing you are, how great you are, how amazing, how amazing for what you've gone through, how, what you got through. Amazing of your gifts. There's an amazing connection coming in about your gifts and really wanting to express more creatively in the world. So I'm getting a lot with channeling and opening up to receive. I'm also getting a lot with trusting your inner knowing. Now, I am hearing there could be digestive issues, something going on with the stomach now or has been in the past. So you need to be very attuned to what you're eating, what you're bringing in, whether from people or influences, environment, your inner dialogue. So this, there's a lot for you also right now about your inner landscape. This for it could be the organs, tissues, for some of you, this could be the skeletal system, it could be the, the muscles within your body, the ligaments, there could be a connection there. This is about what is your inner process, your inner foundation, and really getting in touch with the inner you, the inner landscape, the inner world. 
Some of you are sharing about this. Maybe you are in this landscape. Some of you are already in this world and you're sharing it. This is also about listening to your intuition, your higher guidance, what comes through. Okay, we got throat chakra, express your truth. But you have to go within to get your truth, to understand your truth. This is the, the time of expansion and transformation for you. There's a change that's happening inside got here with the Merkaba as above is so below so how can you make the inner riches the, the inner riches the inner landscape that you are so connected to manifest through you and manifest into the world this rich inner landscape your inner knowing your inner wisdom your cosmic knowing how can you more make that truth more of an everyday aspect or part of you. This is big. This is about, you know, living from that higher vibrational frequency as m more and more. It's not about discounting the earth plane or lower dimension or, you know, lower octaves of expression or lower octave emotions. It's being in the lower, the mid, the high. It's being flexible through them but it's allowing more of the higher frequency aspect of you and understanding of your life to come through. It is really about living this. I get with you, it's about living. This is about life. How are you living your life? Is it, is, is it in accordance and alignment to what is most joyful to you? The body is opening up more to joy the joy of living now this is this is very interesting there could be some connection with soul story number six um right the sixth chakra because i'm also getting kind of overcoming childhood wounding or woundings of the self wounding of the eternal self how it's manifesting through your individual or personal self I just heard if you want to talk to someone or need to talk to someone, reach out. Make sure you have a trusted source that can be loving and yet healing, objective, guiding, but be very present to you. Now, is this a guide? Is this a therapist? Is it a counselor? Is it a kindred soul, you know, kindred spirit? Um, is it in a class or a workshop or a group? Um, because... What you're going through is just opening you. It's it, there's this, just blowing off the top of things, blowing the lid off. Like, wow, I didn't even know. I didn't see this coming. Wow, I didn't know I had this in me. Wow, I'm just seeing colors brighter. I'm hearing things more clearly. I'm sensitive to sound. I can pick up people's feelings. Now, some of you are already having that experience, and this is because your crown chakra is very open, and it's now adjusting through the third chakra. So the healing is really coming from that third chakra, so you can get to your truth, your deeper truth, and to your next level of soul expression. So you're doing a lot of healing through the subtle energy of the of the spirit realm. You're being guided by, by spirit for this healing. Some of you are already consciously doing this healing. And I want to say pace yourself. What does that mean? Pace yourself. Okay, I heard to take that too. Okay, pace yourself. What's coming up here? Yeah, look at that. You're supernova, see? So there's an aspect of your, again, your personality, the healing here. There's an aspect of an identity you took on that is transmuting. That's the energy of it's changing to transform into something new, a new part or new aspect. Now, some people could say, oh, is it ego death? Something's dying. 
nothing really dies. It just changes energy, right? It or changes shape and form. The energy remains. So, but there is a way of identifying yourself or looking at yourself, perhaps an identity or personality molded from childhood, whether you want to term it positive experiences or negative or life enhancing or non-life enhancing or combination, all of above. Some of you, this is social programming or familial conditioning. Uh, some kind of programming of, is changing so you get to this closest to the ultimate truth that you can this lifetime, right? Because if we totally get to the absolute of anything, absolute truth, we're subsumed back into the all that is, right? But you're getting to a high truth, a higher vibrational truth. Let's see, like synergy. Yeah, 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 baby. Look at that synergy, synergistic connections blending and bringing all together this is the transmutation of energy it's starting to synergize you let's see what else is here oh and it's part of the divine plan i love this and i agree yes this is all part of the divine plan here i'm going to keep that right there because that's what's guiding in astrology that's like the handle on the bucket that's your yod, the divine plan. What is pulling the yod is the synergy, is that what's the transmutation that's happened from cleansing, clearing, purifying, modifying, altering, editing, whatever, this, this deeper healing that's happened, not just mentally and emotionally, not just on belief, but an energetic level is creating this synergy, these parts of you coming together, the electrical or the magnetic, the electrical, the feminine and masculine, the yin and the yang. You see that? It's coming together. So you're being reconfigured, reformatted energetically. This is changing your vibrational frequency, aligning and attuning your resonance and coherence more to your soul. And this is what you're connecting with. The soul aspect. So this is allowing you to come out into the world in a different way. Now, some of you, this is going to be very public. Some of you, this is just being more you, the true you. Now, our identity, you know, it's so weird because there's so much about it. Identity changes the design of the soul and the soul signature frequency remains the same, but expresses differently. So when I'm saying identity, I'm not saying identity as a, as a man, a woman, a girl, a boy, whatever, you know, whatever race, whatever religion, that's all small game. That's all distraction on some level. You know, it's interesting game. I'm talking as a divine being, a soul being, a spiritual being, expressing experiencing as your soul in this life so you're getting to a broader more expansive way of identifying yourself in the world and how you navigate and what's important and this is the thing is that you're letting go of the past this is the big thing to move onward and upward this is the whole part of the divine plan right now or what's happening in the akashic for you is that there's a releasing of all these lower level considerations or dynamics or identities, right? The third chakra is the place, and this is why it's the hottest center, empower, empowerment center, empowerment center, place of the inner child, the gut knowing, but through the umbilical cord to the mother, the mother, the physical mother that births us, into the mother earth, is this is how we appear on earth as the soul that we are, how we experience and express. So how we come out into the world, right? Obviously in the womb, but it's all in that general area. And that umbilical cord is the sustenance into earth, into the earth plane. That soft spot above the head, the crown, that begins to get more reinforced as we do higher vibrational inner work and connect in more to the transpersonal chakras 
So for you, how you see yourself and how you navigate in the world, how you play in the world is changing. How you perceive yourself, how you identify your identification as a soul being, a spiritual being, right? A spirit in form, consciousness made manifest, however you want to look at it, is changing. You're opening that up. And that is causing you to have this freedom, this expansion, this to really get into your solar roots, your soul roots, your spiritual essence, to get into your star seed roots, your light being roots, right? So all of that information and insight is now coming through you as you. You're able to identify that. You're able to pull it all together. That's what you're learning. And that's what's happening. That's what's opening. So it is, it's, in a, it's an awakening. It's an awa one of the awakenings of the highest order. Okay, this one wants to come out. Let's see if there's any more. This one keeps wanting to come out, and I do feel there's something about resources. It wanted to come out also in soul story number six. So if you're drawn to that, but I feel like this is a new way even of maybe earning income or money. And it's also about your wholeness. I'm looking at, I'm getting whole you. This is about the whole you coming in. Wow. Look at this. Perfect. Imam Kohli. The I see, the root. Do you see that? It's rooting this. It's rooting this reality, your star seed rooted reality, star seed root. It's rooting this reality, this higher dimensional reality, because in truth, when we ascend, we're not going anywhere. We're, we're having a higher vibrational understanding and viewpoint of the world that's beyond the extremes of polarity. So you're rooting all of this cosmic essence and understanding that you're rooting the universe through you. I mean, really, look at that. Solar flares, I told you, initiation, activation. It's an awakening. You're being activated. Because you've let go of this, now whether consciously, unconsciously, combination conscious, unconscious, it's part of the divine plan. This is coming from the Akashic. You're getting this activation. Things are speeding up for you. Your gifts are getting stronger, more consistent. You're, connect, you're connecting with your soul gifts. It's deep. Told you, occult, mystery. This is about the transcendent, transpersonal you. And it comes from the 12th house of the consciousness, the unconscious the collective consciousness, the consciousness of many lifetimes or lives. The synthesis at the 12th house, the synthesis of many dimensions and levels within you. So you're going to be living this out more, more in your everyday reality. So we call this, you're part of one of the, what we call the first ones, the first ones that are having this experience and grounding it right through that second house energy you're starting to ground this to make it more of a reality on earth we have to live out what's happening right it's not going to happen the awakening doesn't happen just in one big collective or bang it's happening individually through all of us through our individual consciousness and as we come together as we aggregate as we gather the great gathering so your chakras are very open. What you need to kind of work on right now is the fourth, um, sorry, the third chakra and the fifth chakra. Now, the th if you add those two chakras, right, the third chakra and the fifth chakra, it's the eighth chakra. You have the eighth house. This means it's really important, if you have it, aren't already, is to connect more to your higher self. This is about connecting into the higher self getting into this aspect of you for decisions more and more, getting into this aspect, right? And bringing it through as your form, in your form. So your body is assisting you in this. 
mainly a lot through the right now the focus is the solar plexus it's coming through so again that healing of those wounds getting into wholeness whatever that is he i mean healing coming from the latin word ohalen which means wholeness so this is all about wholeness for you so you can use any word that you want to but the crown chakra is about to blow out even more and maybe it is already at this reading maybe it's been blowing out and I mean in a good way. I don't know why I'm saying blowing out. I don't know why this language, but I feel like it's, there's a very determined energy and very determined languaging I'm getting. Some of you could work with language. You could work with words. Maybe you're a writer or a speaker. Maybe you publish things. You put things, but I feel like a, you have a gift with words or you're a songwriter. The mistress magic songstress you're creative i even heard seamstress or something with sewing or creating making something wow so this is a new beginning page of cups look at that this is the psychic opening that's happening yeah ace of swords let's get the cards out now I'm getting a different formation with you. I always do get, sometimes get different. Queen of Cups. So this is the grounding right here. This is the grounding. This is what you're becoming through this opening. Right here, this is what you're becoming. Or you are and you're just accepting it more or opening to it more fully psychic intuitive connected to the emotions really relying on spirit the spirit realm but in the world but there's a new level that's opening okay yeah I'm spending time also on your own to get clear and again I'm hearing the mystery I'm hearing magic oh my god I don't believe this look at I'm taking the cards and what's the nine of cups and what's the list next card when i was saying magic yeah you're using higher frequency and oh yeah remember i said alchemist look at that so what's creating or moving your changes forward wow it's both these energies look at this wow and nine of pentacles i'm taking that's it taking those wow 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 okay wow this is exciting okay so Listen to your body wisdom, but listen to what you're receiving from the higher vibrational plane, whether through your body or, you know, could come through the, could come through what you hear. Uh, your higher self is talking to you. So some of you, it's through the subtle energy. You may be becoming more clairaudient, a clairvoyant, clairsentient. The clairs are getting activated. And look at how it's happening, though. These are the two aspects. What's causing the change, the forward movement, onward and upward, what's causing the change is the spirit, is the vibration, the true vibration of you. Think of energy, vibration, right? Tone, frequency. energy vibration and frequency and then you're taking that to create with to move with whatever the upcoming changes are you'll be able to do it but you're opening up much more to abundance now i also get with you that this has a lot to do with emotional care and fulfillment and being in your vibe your true emotional energetic vibe energy and motion i don't mean emotionalism i don't mean drama your true tone, your true tone of your soul, signature frequency. This can bring in divine counterpart, divine relationships, soulmate relationships. You are that magician. I just said magic, magician, temperance, alchemist, I had said earlier. This is the transmutation process that's happening within you, through you, orchestrated by your higher self. Yes, guides are helping you. Some of you, you work with guides. Maybe some of you are going to practitioners here on the earth plane or getting Reiki or healing or you're coming to readings, but you're doing it. This is coming from the higher dimensional frequency of you. 
to step into this empowerment of the magic, the mystery, using the magic, the mystery, connecting in through the magic and mystery, through creating. What are you creating? That abundant world. This is your gaining. So you are moving in a time of gaining. This is all about the gain. What are you gaining in your life? Let's move this over here. So you, what you're gaining is coming through. The inner movement that then becomes the outer movement. Do you see that? But it's all coming from the inner. This is really important. But you need the inner and the outer movement. You see that hermit there. I'm actually going... Okay, I just really want to touch these cards with you. A lot of you could be um, clairsentient. You could be connecting into kinesthetic memory because I'm getting very touchy with the cards. I kind of want to move the cards around. I want to say that the hermit energy is coming up more for you. Now, if you want to connect in to, you know, some energetic symbolism through the cards, qualities of energy, of course, Queen of Cups here, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Hermit, Virgo. We've got Sagittarius energy here. You could say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, Cancer, Pisces, um, energy there, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. Sagittarius. So there's something about building a new reality, creating a new reality, more based on your soul. So you're in a process, what's coming up and what's opening for you through the subtle energy bodies and into the dense physical body or what we call metaphysically the gross body is gain, abundance, movement, flowering, opening, glowing. Some of you, this is a glow up. This is, it's, it's next level because you're taking all of that cosmic connection, that inner connection, the spiritual essence, the spiritual knowledge and understanding. That's, you're opening to that. And it's starting to move you forward. There's this movement. And it's like these two parts of yourself are meeting yourself within you. It's coming in... You're, re, you're reclaiming the energy of that solar plexus energy, the third chakra. So this means that healing of how you've labeled or mislabeled or labels are leaving. Identific Over-identification is, is leaving. The true understanding of what your identity is is coming through. And again, human earthly identities change, come and go. Ultimately, even the human identity comes and goes, right? So you're connecting in to something bigger and brighter, something more inclusive. It's spiritual essence in form. So this could change a lot of, this could change the direction. This could change the life direction for a lot of you. This is not a small change. It's quite a big change that you're anchoring or grounding. Some of you, this is a culmination lifetime. You're culminating many lifetimes into this one. So this is why your experiences have been very varied because it may be even this lifetime, you've done a lot of different things in your life. Okay, let's see what we've got coming up here. Oh, the journey. I love this. Yeah, what did I say? This could change the way you live. This is preparing you for a big journey. Some of you, this inner journey... is starting to cause an outer journey, wanting to travel, wanting to move, wanting to expand more. Again, gain. Gain in understanding. Gain in possibility. Gain. In, 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 there's increase. Increase in your life. 
Yeah, going out on your own. Some of you, this is a work or a job where you're going out on your own. I'm going to put this over here into synergy, next to synergy, because you're going to have the synergy or you have the synergy to connect with others and collaborate with others or do more on your own or do something on your own. Maybe you're adding to what you do work-wise. Maybe you work in a company or corporation or you have a job, but you can still extend or expand. You could still increase how you live or what you do, right? So just open to increase that there's more, more to do, more to share, more to express in your life. There's more to come. There's more abundance. There's more money. There's more health. There's more wealth. This is really flipping the switch on lack consciousness. And you're starting to feel this more and the possibilities of this more in your life. Okay, so let's see. I've got connect here. I'm getting connect and share. What does that mean to you? Connect and share. That's the message I'm hearing. It's time to connect and share. Oh, God, just as I said, is it's time. I'm telling you, this reading has been in fuego. I cannot even tell you. The last couple readings that I've just uploaded, and I started this reading last night. It's gone way longer than I thought, but that's okay because I just love being marinating. But the universe, God, is so present. God consciousness coming through, so present. And my guides and oversouls everybody's guides it's like it's time and just as i said that and i feel like it's time for people to actualize your gifts more get the support get the help i'm available if need be yeah look at this this is what it just flew off on through the ground pivot yeah i'm telling you you're about i think this movement i'm going to put this here this movement is pivoting you in a new ch direction and it's part of the divine plan i'm going to put this over here it's time so you're going to be connecting with others in a synergistic way on your journey that help you pivot that help that change you're going to be like oh my god i can't believe i met this person and now i'm doing this now i'm doing that or i'm moving or my god i got this job or i'm working with this person or i got this great doctor or whatever it is or who it's whatever it is for you or i met this great person through this you're going to be pivoting in your life you're going to you're being set up again because the lack the limitation that was coming through that conditioning there the the way you were identifying yourself and the world of what was possible or what to do what can be done since that's changing and you're listening more to your higher self that's also throat chakra. That's fifth chakra. You're listening more to your higher self. You're activating. But most importantly, what I'm hearing to tell you, what needs to be known, what they want to be known, what your higher self wants to be known, what spirit, the all that is, that infinite innate intelligence that's coming through, creative intelligence, is that it's a timing issue. It's been a timing issue. There was no way to skip steps on this one. You might have thought it took a long time. It's part of the divine plan that it's time that you pivot. I'm going to say it again. It's part of the divine plan. It's time that you pivot. Now, you don't have to freak out or worry, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? It's going to happen through the divine connection on your journey and being guided. Okay, because you've changed the identification. So it is part of your soul journey. This soul journey, this is the pivot point. This is coming from the Akashic. This is not just in your ego. Look at you have the hermit here, the magician, the temperance. These are not ego-based cards in this major arcana. And you out of this you have the you know three major arcana and the two that have to do with transmutation and then and transformation that alchemical process so you've been work been working on honey you have been worked on you have been being worked on whether you know it or not so i'm just seeing look at this cosmic connections cosmic connections coming in let's look at this cosmic connections star seed connections grounding those star seeds star seed root connections 
These are people sent to you. You're sent to them. This, things are starting to move cosmically for you. You're having, because you are in that cosmic connection. That's what I was saying earlier, the, the connecting point. So there's going to be a lot of synchronistic experiences for you on your journey. Look, let's put this, the soul journey. Wow, all righty. All right, shall we get a uh, message through the Astro Dice for you? It's all perfect. It's divinely orchestrated. Wow, look at that Pluto. Woohoo! Pluto, this is you. Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. That's the kind of change we're talking about here. Oh my God, now it just moved to Neptune. You saw it's Pluto. So let's look at Neptune and Pluto. Neptune, the dream, the goal, the spirit realm. To Pluto transmutes energy to transform it. So that spiritual energy has been transforming Capricorn. You could be Capricorn, but the Capricorn, your structure, your structure, your life, your what's been manifested before that's changing how you manifest and 12th house look at it, it's coming from the 12th this is all divinely guided so you've got that pluto in capricorn in the 12th it's changing how you think and feel about yourself your subconscious programming 12th house pluto and cappy in the 12th so it's changing how you identify. You know, a lot of people think of Capricorn as just corporations, but it's also the people, it's the structure in our life. It's our, it's our teeth. It's our skeletal system. So when you have a relationship or you call a business relationship, that's Capricorn energy. When you call it a romantic relationship, that's still Capricorn energy because you're systemizing that relationship. You're you're, you know, calling it a specific name with specific parameters. So that's changing within your life and your life direction. This is, that's changing within your life and your life direction. All right. Your soul insights mantra is. I open to the flow of transmutation to transform my life. That's it. Apply it how you will. All right, Soul Lights, thank you for the honor of tuning in for you. Wow, I cannot believe how long this reading was, but I hope it really connects with you, warms your heart, enriches, enlivens your soul. Until next time, shine bright.